This is She Talks A Lot, and you're watching YouTube. I'm letting y'all all the way in my business. I am frantic. Good morning, and welcome to weekly vlog number 44. I'm getting ready for work. I'm not really here to chat with y'all for real, for real, but my hair is going to make or break this look because this turtleneck is kind of high. I don't mind it as far as like cold protection, but I'm, it's giving very, um, I mean, this isn't a bad thing, but it's giving very modest right now. <laughs> I need some spice here. Is my hair going to provide enough pizzazz to make me truly like this look? I think it is. It's crazy the difference hair makes. I'd say it's giving. I never know whether to put my glasses above or below my little sideburn thing when I do stuff like this. But we went above this time. That means this is saying where it's at with my bright green nails. All right, let me go pack my lunch and get out the door because it is 7.15 a.m. just in here talking to y'all for like five minutes and was not recording good morning it is 8 27 a.m i was letting y'all know that i test drove fasting from social media or i'm currently test driving it right now this morning and i can already tell that this is going to be an amazing thing for me because i turned on the camera and peeled off some under eye patches i had on because i put on under eye caffeine patches or whatever this morning I've been up since like 7.15 and had I been on social media in the bathroom like I usually am, that wouldn't have happened. And then I came out of the bathroom and washed dishes. That wouldn't have happened either had I been on my phone. I actually slept with my phone in the living room. Like my phone was in the living room and I was in my bed. So, you know, if you're someone who typically like picks up their phone as soon as they wake up, Try not doing that and see how different your morning is. Also, I was commenting on the fact that I haven't talked to y'all after work the last two days because I've basically just been chilling. I haven't really done much. There was no, I really haven't done much after work. Yet last night I did do like my full self care, like skincare, face mask stuff last night, but that was like a relaxation thing for me. So I didn't really turn on the camera. Um, and then as far as like what I've been eating, I've still, I was still eating the leftovers from the jerk chicken tacos I made at the end of last week's vlog, but I finished those last night. So now we can start getting into some of the fun stuff that I bought at the end of last week's vlog. But yeah, that's what I was talking about. If I said anything else, I don't remember because unfortunately I was not recording, but, uh, just unwrapped my hair, got these lines on my forehead, but I don't think they'll be noticeable. I have a couple of meetings, so that's why I'm trying to get my life together but i gotta go put my accessories on and hop back on my computer it is 2:03 p.m i took a nap on my lunch break so now i'm going to actually eat actually i just had a snack i had two baby cucumbers with some ranch dressing but that was not filling i also had a smoothie this morning i had the last of my Aviv smoothies, the little like wheel thing where you just put the little cubes in your juice or whatever. That was, that was good. The smoothie was good. Now I'm about to make these carbonara bulldog ramen noodles. I don't even know if you can see that because the lighting is not great. So, I don't know. I don't want to mess up my nail. The knife I used to cut my cucumbers. Here we go. Where's the hole I just made? I don't know why. There we go. Here we go. Oh, and it has the little things where you stab it to pour the water out. And these are so interesting to me. Open it halfway. Pull out our packets. Ooh, that's loud. So we have... This is the carbonara powder. 
Oh, and then there's still also spicy sauce separate. Interesting. I was wondering how that worked because it said like it doesn't say. Oh, it does say artificial spicy chicken flavor and then it has like fire on it. But I've never had the, a bulldog ramen flavor other than like the flavor being spicy. So it's usually just this and like a, a bag of like flakes and seeds, <laughs> maybe. I also got a package. This one, well, I don't know. I just grabbed it off my doorstep like 15 minutes ago. I don't know how long it's been here. I didn't get a notification that it was delivered. I actually did not touch my phone at all until after I woke up from my nap, like on lunch. So I've gone basically half the day without touching my phone and it felt really good. And I'm kind of mad that I'm touching it now, but um, I got a phone call while I was sleeping and wanted to return it when I woke up, which meant I had to get my phone. So, mm. is this done yet? It sounds like it's, it's getting quieter. All right, so we have this peeled back. I can see the line. Don't be hot on my fingers, please. Oh, you're warm, but you're not too hot. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, it's like bubbling. Chill out. Put that down. And then sit our stuff on top of here so that can... We're gonna come over here, because I don't wanna do this over my food, and open my package, because this was just sitting on the ground, so I don't want that on my actual counter. So this is actually, what side did I show you? Actually this side, hopefully. This is from Melanin Hair Care. Melanin Hair Care is obviously a hair care brand, but I didn't get any hair care products. They just had their five year anniversary, and it, they had a, it wasn't a sale, it was just you got two free out of, two free items with a purchase and I think it was a purchase of like $50 maybe and they one of the free items is sorry I should probably just open this and then talk to you okay one of the free items was something that I've wanted from them since they started but every time I wanted to get it and like was also going to order something else because like you know you got to get to a certain threshold to get like free shipping or whatever because I've tried all of their hair products I've had the shampoo the multi-use leave-in conditioner because it's like a black castor oil shampoo multi-use leave-in conditioner multi-use or multi-purpose hair oil or multi-use it might be multi-use um the twist elongating style cream and the plumping deep conditioner, which I think are all the products they offer, I think. Um, but I have tried all of them and I have enjoyed just about all of them. I think my least favorite product was probably the black castor oil shampoo. My mom loved it, but for me, it didn't, it felt like it caused more like scalp buildup for me for some reason. I can't really explain why and it might have been a me problem. I don't really know, but my mom really liked it. But all the other products, I really liked the way that they you know worked on my hair I used the oil to like seal I actually still have some of them I gave my mom the shampoo but I still have the plumping deep conditioner because I actually got that not that well it's probably been about a year since I got that but like I said I don't wash my hair that often um <laughs> all that to say I got a bunch of their non hair care products let's start with the smaller stuff or the free stuff so this was one of the free items so this is actually and it's quite possible, I was going to say it's possible that I have this, but I don't think I do. I have the, I think it's called papaya, but it's a scarf, it's a head scarf. It's a stretchy, like, head scarf situation. But it just says melanin N85, and N85 is for natural 85. That's the name of her YouTube channel. So the owner, I don't think I said that. The owner, Melanin Hair Care, is actually a YouTuber. Uh, her YouTube name is natural, N-A-P, natural. 85 um and she's actually one of the people i would say who inspired me to do this i think she's the very first person i ever knew to vlog but she had two channels she had like her hair her channel that was like dedicated to like hair stuff and like makeup beauty all that and then she had like a vlog channel which was or is dear natural 85 is the vlog channel whitney is her name shout out whitney this is you know melanin and 85 it's a headscarf this, oh, it's not stretchy. So it's more like a traditional headscarf. Okay, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Because the other one is like really stretchy and I don't really, for that reason, it's kind of harder for me to wear it because of how much it stretches. Let's see. 
I'm just gonna give it a little bandana situation, maybe. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Did it mess up my hair? It did, my hair didn't even, see, that's how you know this is good fabric. Like, it didn't even grab my hair, like, at all. I didn't look at the clock to see how long my noodles have been sitting. Hey, not gonna lie to you though, not mad. And it, like, I love how stiff it feels. This, yeah, this is, this is kind of gonna give. I don't know, I might use this to, it's part of wrapping my hair at night maybe, who knows. But like, this was free. I did not intentionally choose this, but I knew that I was going to be getting it. Here's the other free item, which is the thing that I genuinely have wanted from her since five years ago when, when she started. Cause these, this and that I believe were two of the first, or were either were the first or were two of the first non hair care products that were offered on the website. But this, this is what I've been in awe of for the last five years. It's a, a, it's a stretchy, like natural hair visor. And it's like a kind of satiny and it says melanin. And then you have a little N85 right here. Let's see, I know I have a big head, hope for the best. Oh, and it fits like a glove and it's not tight. Oh my God, I'm so happy. So the idea is that like, if you have a giant puff or natural hair, then you have your puff coming out of the top of it. And it's kind of like athletic as well, like moisture wicking. So if you need to like protect your edges from sweat. Is this not the cutest thing? Is the, I'm actually like really jazzed about this, even though it's no longer the season, but the season will return. It is definitely giving. There are two cards in here. Z-O-M-G, I can't believe it's really here. What's up guys? Thank you so much for your support of my hair care line, Melanin Hair Care. This box contains years of hard work and dedication in order to... And that's the thing. On her channel, she would make, like on her hair, like the Natural 85 channel, she would make her own hair care products. The one I remember the most is the flaxseed gel. And actually, I don't think she even has a gel yet, which means that's probably in the works. Oh, and here's all. So the plumping deep conditioner, I have tried that as well. Well, I told you I tried all of them. Yeah, so it's African Black Soap Reviving Shampoo, Twist Elongating Style Cream, Multi-Use Pure Oil Blend, and Multi-Use Softening Leave-In Conditioner. I have tried all of these products and can say that all of them are good. But yeah, that's Whitney. There she is. Natural 85. Love her. Love this. Love that. Love it all. Okay, there's that. And then here's the things that I did actually pick. I got these melanin hair care unisex crew socks. So they just say melanin all over them. And there's a brown pair and a black pair. And I just thought these were really cute. And I do love a good tube sock, even though I don't have it. Like I don't wear them typically with like shoes, but like during boot weather, you can guarantee there's a tube sock under my boot. So those are going to give, and also I like wearing them in the house as like, slippers basically and our final and biggest item right here now I will say I might have made a sizing faux pas on this but it's fine it was a sizing faux pas in the in the still wearable direction it is this melanin hair care hoodie now I will say maybe I was misinformed but I thought it was satin lined it is not it's okay though it's still giving melanin melanin got the little m on the back and the melanin on the front it's oversized but i got it in an extra large the only options were extra large and medium they're trying it on oh it's it is very soft on the inside hold on let's give her a shot i don't know why i thought this was a satin lined hoodie but i'm not mad about it because I would have, I didn't want to get any more hair products because I haven't gotten through the ones that I have. I didn't want to just have products sitting on the shelf, but I knew I would wear clothes and I wanted the visor. Oh, she's big. Oh, but she's cozy. Oh, oh and it's long. Oh. I could wear this without pants. Like my butt stops right here. The, the hoodie stops down here. Not gonna lie, it's giving. I'm kind of glad. I'm, like not mad at all about this. This might be my new like in the house all the time, every day, everywhere. Big hood. I'm And the sleeves are long. Love that. Love that for me. Melanin. Okay, so I'm gonna take this tag off because actually I don't think I'm taking this hoodie off. I think this is gonna stay on my body. I don't wanna take my shirt off now, just have the hoodie on, but it's fine. 
I'll be layered. And I actually was chilly sitting in my office, no longer. So I'm melanin down. We got melanin socks, melanin hoodie, melanin, melanin visor, and a melanin scarf. So that, and that's another thing. I really like their branding because it's like for the culture, you know? Melanated. That's, that's just, it is what it is. Now here's my, my invoice. It fell on the floor, didn't even see it. Oh, it doesn't tell me the prices though. But yeah, I think my total was like $50. And look at that right there. Hold on, I don't want to show you my freaking... It's giving angel number. Where'd it go? We got a 111. Giving new beginnings. Remain three, ta three teaspoons of water. But how do I know how many teaspoons of water are it? How would you know how much water is left if you can't see? I'm only pouring out a little bit because I don't want to... Three tablespoons of water. Add sauce, add cheese powder, stir well, and serve. All right. I already, ooh, I'm probably gonna wanna take this off after I eat this, considering it's spicy. I'm gonna end up hot. Ooh, not my computer being asleep. I did walk away for quite some time, didn't I? My overly soupy noodles. Maybe I will take my hoodie off just so I don't get it dirty. All right, y'all. I am still at work. Uh, it's 3.50. What? No. Okay, I was going to say something is off. It's 3.57. And I'm having a snack. I probably should just wait till I get off work so I can start making dinner. But I want to try this Moku mushroom jerky. Korean barbecue flavor. Mushroom jerky. This is very interesting to me. It's supposed to be good for the environment. And, you know, obviously it's like a, a vegan alternative to jerky. It is vegan, correct? I'm fairly certain. Why would it not be if it's mushrooms? Yeah, gluten-free, soy-free, vegan. Got this from World Market at the end of last week's vlog. Really, I'm not even hungry. Part of the issue is that I have these snacks available to me, but I'm not, I don't need to finish it. I just want to know what it tastes like, to be honest. <laughs> okay, I got it. Mm. Hey, it smells good. It smells like meat. But I'm assuming that's like the, bar the barbecue of it all. I'm also kind of in limbo waiting for like 4.10 so I can do something at work. But oh wow, look at it. It looks like that does not look like a mushroom. What kind of mushroom is it? King oyster mushroom. I expected the bite to be a little softer, but I guess pinching it, it is kind of soft, like firm, but like. It's got bite, like meat. I'm kind of shook, like. I obviously it's not as tough as beef jerky, but the texture is kind of spot on. Hold on, can I like rip it? And then look, even the cross section is kind, it's like meatish. Can you see that? You see that? Like how it has like the ribboning or like where I don't know how to explain it chewing it is even satisfying like it feels good to chew 
That's crazy. Moku mushroom jerky, Korean barbecue. Six grams of protein, nine grams of fiber. Two servings per bag. I can't lie, this is like mind blowing. I love this. And the flavor is good too. Like, I know it's Korean barbecue, but it almost has like, kind of like a teriyaki jerky experience. And it's like the inconsistent shape and stuff like regular beef jerky. Some of them are thick, some of them are thin. Ooh. This one was real firm, like beef jerky. Mm. That's crazy. I just wanted to try these on camera with you. But clearly, color me impressed. Yo. The turn off office. Okay. Tell me why I've been editing for the last four hours and the vlog is currently two hours and 21 minutes long. It started out almost six hours long. I just, Lord have mercy. It is currently 9.30 p.m. This lighting is garbage as usual. I planned on cooking dinner for myself and I think I'm still going to because I haven't eaten since you saw me eat the mushroom jerky. That was the last thing I ate and that was like, I ate, I did finish the bag, but yeah, not all in one sitting. You, I ate some when you saw me eat it and then like an hour later I finished the rest of the bag, but that was still like four hours ago. I want to make the mandarin orange chicken from Trader Joe's. I thought I was gonna make it in the oven and then I came in here and looked at the bag and saw the skillet instructions. Kind of got interested in that. So I think I'm still gonna do it. Heat one fourth cup of cooking oil on a large skillet, add chicken pieces, cook eight to 10 minutes, turning regularly and eat to evenly heat chicken pieces until crisp and golden. And then you can do the sauce in the microwave or a saucepan. I think I'm still gonna do the stove situation because I don't feel, I don't, have the desire to wait for my oven to heat but that's gonna take like 15 minutes in itself skillet where is my earl is it in here or is it up here i think my earl is up here here it is one fourth cup i don't know how much that is oh here's a fourth of a cup no it's not that's not much Shoot. Oh, is that just so far to open? Now I feel like my house is gonna smell like fried stuff, but I guess that's okay. I can't believe how long that vlog is and how I'm really proud of myself for sitting there and getting through the entire thing in one sitting. Cause that was ridiculous. But I mean, it was, I was entertained watching it. Cause like I forgot like how much I had filmed. Cause this is the vlog from when we went, when I, well I said we, but when I went to Michigan when we went to Michigan. You came with me via the vlog. I filmed so much because I didn't think that I would be filming while I was in Michigan, but I got way more footage from the actual trip itself than I had originally anticipated. Mm, this chicken smells good already. There's sauce pad. Oh, there's two. Almost fried my sauce. Just to eat this for eight to ten minutes. Flipping regularly. I can't lie, this chicken smells really good. Keep it on low. For some reason, I feel like this is gonna be like really good, and I'm kind of excited about it. sauce is definitely still cold, but like, it's good. It's real tangy. Mm, let me get this rice out. You know what I'm going to do? So also doing the Trader Joe's Jasmine Microwave Rice. Okay, so it takes three minutes, and there's three minutes left on the chicken. This is what our rice is giving. This is a self vented bag. Place this side down for about three minutes in the microwave. The bag must balloon up for 20 to 40 seconds.
feel like I have too many irons in the fire right now. What do I want to put my rice in? I guess this will do. The bags are going to be hot. Do you feel it is sand? I don't know if it's puffed up or not. I don't know. I actually have no idea. We're going to hope for the best. not warm, but it's warmer than it was. So I want to, I think I want to toss my sauce in this pan, since this pan is hot. I'm going to just drain a little bit of this grease out. Does this not look amazing? Like, it smells like I'm at Pandora Express. I'm not gonna lie. And I am not mad about it. Do I just wanna put my chicken on top of my rice? Bro, that's fire. Can I fit this in here? Is that greedy of me to try to fit this in here? Cook! <laughs> yeah, clearly. I am so excited. Good morning. Yeah, it's still morning. It's 11.31 a.m. I have been working actually a significant amount this morning. Got thrown into some impromptu calls with people I've never met before. So I had to turn my camera on, but I had my bonnet on. So I had to snatch it off and like hope for the best. And this was, this is what the result was. And honestly, not mad about it. And I had my hair not been straightened. That would have been, I don't know. I just would have to keep my camera off. Like that's just how that would have went. But everybody on the call had their camera on and I would have felt a little uncomfy. <laughs> because they were, we work with people in different countries. So I don't know, I don't know if they were in Germany or Austria or I don't know but they weren't from here or they weren't here currently at least and then also my manager it was four people on the call two people from out of the country my manager and me I didn't want to be the only one with my camera off but I'm about to heat up my leftovers from last night y'all saw last night that this bowl was like that much like that high I did put a pretty decent dent in here but there is still quite a bit left and I'm really excited about it because Oh my god, like it smells like a restaurant. That's crazy. Like, I know I probably shouldn't be this shocked at how near realistic this orange chicken is, but like, it is kind of shocking. But yeah, I'm gonna let this heat, heat up. I think I'm gonna throw my hair up though, because it's been down this whole time because I kind of just, you know, had to slap off the bonnet and couldn't really, didn't, haven't really gotten up since then. So I'm gonna go clip, hold on. I actually wrapped my hair the opposite direction last night. Usually I wrap it to the right. Last night I wrapped it to the left. And I didn't even get to see what the result was like because I just had to slap my bonnet off. But I will say, when I took it down, my part ended up on this side, like naturally, even though I wrapped my hair this way. And it looked pretty good and it had like volume and I really liked the way I looked in the camera. Like this was a top notch slap my bonnet off and turn the camera on experience. I did not have any accessories on. Typically you would not catch me on camera without at least a necklace and earrings, but this was a dire situation. I mean, it wasn't dire, but it was expeditious. And I guess that's the case for staying ready so you ain't gotta get ready. But I, when I'm working from home, chances are I have to get ready. Oh, I'm so happy to have food that I wanna eat. Honestly, I'm gonna just stick with my water. I'm gonna stick with my water, but bon appetit. Ate my orange chicken and then went on my break and took a nap. And I have officially lost all motivation to be at work, but I don't have a choice. Mm. To caffeine or not to caffeine at 1.49 PM. But it's not even that I'm tired. I just, I'm uninterested. But that's unfortunate, I guess, because I don't really have a choice. 
Just thought I'd share. I don't know if it's me, if it's the weather, if it's hormonal maybe, but I'm kind of in a funk, not gonna lie. Like it's kind of giving bad mood, but I'm not in like, I'm not in a bad mood. I just feel bad, but not like sick bad. Just like not good. It's hard to explain, but it's internal. Like it's, it's happening in here some kind of way. Well, in here and here, but less here and more here. I don't know. I don't know what the issue is, to be honest. I didn't, I didn't feel like this earlier. I didn't feel like this before I took my nap. And usually a nap makes me happy. Usually I enjoy a nap. I mean, I enjoyed the nap, but getting up from the nap was the issue, I guess. I don't know. What am I having for dinner? Since I already ate my leftovers. Don't know why I'm looking in the fridge. There's no food for dinner in the fridge. All of my food is in the freezer. But it doesn't hurt to check. Oh, pizza? Ooh, this is that pasta that I ate all in one sitting. Do I want that? I don't know. Probably. But I'm going to be mad at myself if I eat the whole thing. I don't freaking know. Realistically, I kind of just want to melt some cheese on some tortilla chips and call it a day. Why am I like that? Why am I like, why is that what I'd prefer to eat over real food? I don't know. I'm not going to try to self-diagnose right now. Is this bag of chips still? I think part of it is also I know I have a whole lot of editing in front of me this evening. These chips are a little stale. What would y'all do in this situation? Is it wasteful for me to throw out these chips? Or is it justified because they're stale? They're pretty stale. I'm going to throw them away. I'm glad I bought a new bag of chips. That, that's hella cheese to choose from, too. So it's not like we're sleeping in the cheese department. Look at this burnt chip. You see that? You see that? That is a burnt chip. I have never encountered something like this. You see that? Comparison. Normal colored chip. Or burnt chip. Interesting. Quality control missed. A, they missed something on this one, but it's okay. Does it taste burnt? Yep. But it's not bad. It does taste burnt. E. Kind of tastes like a Frito, actually. Fritos kind of taste burnt to me to begin with. Uh, I guess that would make sense. No, this is real burnt. Hopefully that doesn't make my stomach hurt, but we kind of do it. Also, I didn't tell you, I'm off work. It's 4 It's after 4.30 now. So, that is why I'm in here ranting about my feelings. I chose this over real food. I'm not mad about it. Oh, I'm not drink. Come on. Come on. I don't be understanding which way they want you to pull these things. Like, talking about lift. Lift which way? That opened very poorly. Back for dessert. It is currently 8.16 p.m. I have been editing since I finished eating my chips with melted cheese on them. Um, I still have another hour of footage to get through, but I can't sit at my desk any longer. Like I did it all day yesterday, and then obviously I sat at my desk all day today for work. But like when I say all day yesterday, I was at my desk from 8 a.m. till what? When did I? tell y'all I was done editing like n almost 10 like 9 45 I don't know no it was probably I think it was like 9 o'clock 
But that's still 13 hours at my desk. I can't do another 13 hour. We're at a 12 hour day already though. It is 8.15. So maybe I should just go another 13 hours, but I can't. <laughs> I actually have been constantly thinking about trying on my Halloween costume. Because I'm not sure if I want to wear this jumpsuit with this cape or do I want to try to piece something to different together to go under the cape because I know I'm wearing the cape and I know I'm going to use the wand out of here but because the little belt like this one came with a belt this is the costume I wore last year I don't think I was even vlogging at this time last year so y'all didn't see this and I did because I had a whole Halloween party last year and y'all didn't even get to see it because I wasn't vlogging my wand just fell out here's my wand but the belt broke. The belt to this costume broke. So I don't, I can't wear that. And that would have been like the, the clincher. Like I definitely would have worn it if I had the belt. I don't know if I just want to wear a plain jumpsuit. But I'm going to try it on and see how I feel about it. Did I throw away the chain? I did. This is also really cute though. I kind of would want to wear this just, just for funsies. This, that's the, the sleeve part of the costume. You can see that. But instead of this year, I got a cape because I'm not going to wear a coat and I'm actually going outside today. I mean, not today, but this year, aka Saturday. This is the jumpsuit, a little crisscross in the front for the chi-chis and things. I would like to give a little sexy for Halloween because I don't usually do sexy. I mean, that I wore that last year, but that, you know, that's not like overly sexy. That is another thing, though. I will have to like step out of or get basically naked to pee. <laughs> If I have to pee while I'm out, we're going to, I think it's going to be just like a, a bar crawl situation. Okay. I do not have a brazier. Oh, these are itchy. I don't remember these itching like this last year. Interesting. This is the jumpsuit. I mean, it's giving seasonally appropriate. Y'all saw this. I think I got, no, I got this in last week's vlog. But if you saw last week's vlog, then you saw this. Obviously, it's green for obvious reasons. If that would have just landed on my toe, the way it just like straight down into the floor, I think I would have lost a toe. That was kind of scary. It does have ties. I hope I don't end up strangled by this during the night. What do we think? My wand. I put a spell on you, and now you're mine. I need a mirror, so I'm gonna bring you with me. Oh, I like the way my cape is kind of flowing behind me in the breeze. I don't think you can see it. Alexa, turn on bedroom. Okay. I can just sit you on my desk. Okay, here we go, here we go. Some lines, what do I think? How do I feel? What are my thoughts and emotions? I don't know. I mean, the cleavage is kind of giving. These strings are itchy though. I do not remember them itching like this. Let's see what, what's the hood getting for. A little green riding hood. I don't know. I really wish I still had that belt. Hold on. I have another belt, but it's not the same vibe. Let's see. What do I feel? And it's not the same. Because I like that it had a little hang. And I'm too warm for this to really hang. The way I would want it to. Honestly, though, I don't think I'm mad about it. Do my little witch makeup or whatever. I could make this tighter, I guess, but I don't think I really want to. I don't know. What do, you, what do we think? How do we feel? Thoughts, feelings, and opinions. Itchy, although y'all aren't gonna see this until after Halloween anyway, so you can give me your your reactions, I guess. Hand wash cold, do not bleach, lay flat to dry, do not iron, do not dry clean. Interesting. I wonder what I'm gonna do with my hair. I'm gonna give myself like some sort of bobby pin my hood, like right here, and maybe do my hair in like a a curled out fashion around the hood to kind of give the vibes, you know? Is it giving the vibes? I put a spell on you. 
it's definitely giving vel velvet. It's giving that. It is certainly giving velvet. Which shoes am I wearing? That's a good question, isn't it? I don't know. I have zero desire to wear heels. But I don't know what I do want to wear, so... Is this what we're doing? Is this the vibe? Where's my wand? Oh, uh, here it is. Because one of the reasons I want the belt is so I can, like, you know, store my wand and not have to hold it all night. And that seems reasonable. Like, I don't... It feels like it's tight enough that it wouldn't escape. Oh, well, yeah, that's just going to have to do I'm just going to... This is She Talks A Lot, and you're watching YouTube. LOL. I don't know, this is kind of, I don't know, this is kind of giving. Like, I kind of feel, is it weird to say I feel like myself wearing this? Like, if it were acceptable to appear this way at all times, I don't think it'd be bad about it. <laughs> this is the vibe. This is my vibe. <laughs> it's kind of cute. What time is it? I kind of want to show my mom. But I think she's probably sleeping. Well, not sleeping. I do kind of want to show her. Hold on, getting my phone. Oh no. Hold on. Oh well. I do want to take a picture though, because I just look kind of cute in the camera. Okay, I think I'm satisfied with this. I really wanted to try it on just to make sure I didn't want to not wear this. But I think it, I just confirmed that I do want to wear this. So, there's that. I just, oh yeah, it's definitely not going anywhere if I wear like that. My weapon. Interesting. All right. I think I'm gonna, I don't know, sit on my couch probably because I'm tired of sitting at my desk and looking at a computer, but I am just going to go look at an even bigger screen, but it's fine. What is this angle? Hello. Good. Uh, good morning. Still kind of. It's actually 1159, so I can just barely say good morning. I am about to make myself a little snack. I'm not going to lie. Trigger warning. I'm about to talk about, uh, body image and or weight if that is something that you know is triggering for you please skip ahead to timestamp somewhere i weighed myself last night <laughs> and i'm not gonna lie didn't like what i saw was not pleased and it's not like crazy i'm really just i'm like actually it is kind of it's kind of getting out of hand i'm getting uh close to what my heaviest weight was which is obviously not ideal i was always like i don't want to like give you the specifics like because i don't want people to start comparing and thinking that like certain numbers are heavy or whatever but like at least for myself i am about mm, let's see i would say i'm about 18 pounds above my goal weight um and i will also say that i have not been my goal weight in like maybe i don't know if i've been my goal weight since i moved into this apartment so like a year maybe but i was at a place where it was like even if i'm not my goal weight i'm pleased with the weight that i am but now i'm at a place where like i'm not pleased i am not pleased <laughs> with the weight that i am right now so, as I'm cutting up cucumber, because I like I already had the intention to like eat healthier, and I told y'all I wanted to fast and like eat clean for a period of time, but it's beginning to you know seem like maybe I need to just eat clean in general or eat cleaner because I'm not gonna like I don't do well with telling myself that I can't have anything that tastes good. <laughs> that is just not the way that I want to live. But I am pretty good at having things in moderation. And I have been having things in moderation, but it's just none of those things have been good things. Um, it's been a lot of processed food, which is part of what I want to fast from. And a lot of, like, 
you know, I won't say sodium because like that's not necessarily the issue, but like just a lot of processed freezer foods, not a lot of like fresh whole foods. Now I am going to eat the food that's in my house. Like I'm not going to let that food go to waste, but like once that's gone, which presumably will be relatively close to the time that I plan to start fasting anyway. And also like as I'm replenishing the food in my house, I'm going to start replenishing with healthier things like this cucumber. I kind of just saw it and was like, hey, I like cucumber. Maybe that'll be a, a healthy snack that I can have. Doing more of that. Finding little easy things that are healthy that I can kind of throw together without having to do much work. Because that's why I eat a lot of the like freezer foods and stuff is because they're fast. Like y'all saw yesterday, I opted to have tortilla chips with cheese melted on them over something out of the freezer because the cheese and chips took 45 seconds in the microwave as opposed to me having to wait like 40 minutes to heat my oven and then make something in it. Um, now I'm not going to say that that's a good reason to, to do what I did, but like that was part of the reason. Like I wanted something fast and I knew that I would get a flavor that I am reasonably, you know, excited by. Cause that's another thing. If I'm not excited by the food that I'm eating, I'm not really interested in eating it. And I know that's probably not the best relationship to have with food. Like food is supposed to be, you know, just like a fuel source, not necessarily a source of enjoyment but it is for me and I think it is for a lot of people and I don't think that is necessarily a bad thing but it will you know drive you to eat less healthy things because less healthy things tend to bring more excitement but that is why I'm trying to find <laughs> healthy things that bring me excitement and a, a something about a baby cucumber was exciting to me but yeah all that to say like I am not happy with my current weight um I will say I didn't start having an issue with way, the way I was appearing until I think actually the vlog I'm editing right now, I'm like looking at myself, specifically my stomach, and I'm like, ugh, ugh. Like I couldn't even be mad if somebody like, oh, how far along are you? Like I couldn't even be mad because like that's what it's giving. That's just not, that's not the vibe I'm going for. Oh, I love that pop when you open up your kimchi. Ooh, so, and yes, that's the snack I'm having. Cucumbers and kimchi. That's going to be my lunch, basically. And it's giving, I'm already gonna have to start investing in some more kimchi because this jar is getting a little low. And I actually had a moment last night while I was, you know, cause I, after I had the chips and cheese and then I had that Reese's the king size Reese's, which I ate all of it. I didn't necessarily intend to, but I was hungry. So I ate it. Like, I didn't want to go get, like, I didn't want to eat more food. So I just ate, finished the Reese's, which is not the healthiest choice. And it probably would have just been healthier for me to, like, put the Reese's down and come in here and maybe eat the cucumber that I'm about to eat now. But I didn't do that. And that was probably around, like, maybe, I don't know, that was, like, pretty early on that was like six something maybe and by what maybe 10 no yeah I think I was in my kitchen a little bit after 10 p.m and my stomach was like grumbling because it was so I'm, I was so hungry and I, I literally like I am right now opened the fridge stood here looking at what I had wouldn't open the freezer because I knew whatever I was about to eat was not going to come out of there because that would have been too heavy or whatever. And I like, I, I want to say I started crying, but as usual, I got on the verge of tears and then inter intellectualized my feelings and did not cry because it is, it has become increasingly more difficult for me to actually get tears to fall from my eyes, which is, I don't know, that's not great for me. I would, I'm not, I don't have a problem with crying. I just don't. Um, and I probably would like to cry more often than I do. But that's what happened. I stood there, wanted to cry, couldn't. And then like sat with the fact that opening my refrigerator and thinking about eating made me want to cry because I feel fat. And that's just, 
You know, nobody wants to feel that way. Feel like they can't satiate to their hunger because they're too fat to feed themselves. Like, what kind of thought? I don't, I don't like having those thoughts. And I don't typically think like that. And I typically, like, intentionally abstain from thinking like that. But I think having weighed myself really, uh, no pun intended, tipped the scale on the way I was thinking to skew more negative because I knew I was gaining weight. I just didn't know how much. So I, I think I probably in the last, I'm trying to think when was the last time I weighed myself. Cause the last time I weighed myself, I was like just under where I felt comfortable. Like with the weight that I saw, like I was at the point where I'm like, Ooh, if I was any heavier right now, that would have been a blow to my mental health. Um, and then I weighed myself yesterday, and it actually was a blow to my mental health. Um, uh, but I think that was probably, I don't know, maybe a, it could have been a month ago, maybe slightly less. But from then to now, I gained like five pounds, which... I was gonna say that doesn't sound huge, but that like saying it and thinking it right now feels ginormous to me. Um, especially when I was just barely making it by my own standard. And actually my, my standard, I don't even think, it's not like I have a ridiculous standard for myself, but I do have a threshold that I, am, I refuse to go over and I'm getting kind of close. So, uh, <laughs> All that to say, I'm at, and actually this is something I am excited to eat because I love kimchi. And it's literally just fermented cabbage and cucumbers. A little bit of fresh, a little bit of spice, a little bit of tang, good crunch. I say this is a pretty good snack for me, but I'm going to be more intentional about the things I put in my body. Now, that's not to say that I'm gonna, well, at least not yet, because <clears throat> this is what my freezer looks like, a bunch of processed freezer foods, and I'm gonna eat them because I have them, and I want, I, I bought them because I want them. But after this is gone, we're gonna get a little bit more serious about the things that we're eating. And not to say that even all of those are bad, because there are some, you know, good frozen meals and I'll just be more intentional about choosing those instead of freaking fried cheese curds and fried ravioli but those bang I if I want to be at peace with the way because another part of it is even the way I feel in my in my body because I am very body conscious like I, I kind of live in my head while feeling my body you know I don't live in my body really but I'm very conscious of what it feels like. And I'm like, I'm conscious of the way my body feels. I'm conscious of the way, like if I feel like my stomach is, like I can feel these things. They're more, it's cognitive to me, even when I'm not looking at it. Like I will think about how heavy my stomach feels or how far out it feels like it's sitting. And those are all things that probably working out would help. And I did also cut back on working out. I started doing stretches as opposed to like actual exercises and I will say I stretch way more often than I ever actually worked out, but I'm still burning less calories because the stretches are not as strenuous as the workouts were. And I probably will start maybe intermingling some more workouts into the mix. <sighs> I just had like, I was genuinely jarred by what I saw on the scale yet last night. And I, that cannot be, I can't, no, not doing it. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I, I just wanted to, to get that off my chest because I think well, no, because that was, well, no, actually, part of my mood might have had to do with that yesterday, too, because before, what triggered me to weigh myself was what I saw on the screen when I was editing on Tuesday, no, on Wednesday, because I don't typically, like, a lot of times I will intentionally avoid weighing myself because of this experience, but because of what I was seeing, I'm like, there's no way, like, I just need the scale to tell me that it's not that bad. And the scale was like, fuck you, yes it is. <laughs> Pardon my French. But like, that's how it felt. 
Um, <laughs> so that's where we are. I don't know what the point of this was and I hope that, you know, I, I don't want anybody to feel like if they, you know, if we have similar builds or body types or whatever, or you see yourself in me, don't feel like what you have going on is not, cause like, this is not to say that I feel ugly or undesirable or any of those things. Like, it's just simply, I feel like I'm in an unhealthy, I'm at an unhealthy weight for me. This is the beginning of me spiraling out of control if I don't get it in check now. We're gonna get it together. And this, this kimchi, I, I can already feel like the fermentation doing something in the gut. And that's another thing that's really, that really got to me as well. And it kind of was burdensome to me to think about, but like I was talking about my stomach. And y'all saw, I think that was two vlogs ago, I got this night nighttime reboot like supplement or whatever. And one of its benefits is to beat the bloat. And a lot of what I experience in my stomach, I do feel like is bloating um, to some extent, but also part of it is just the fact that I have a curved spine, uh, AKA scoliosis, and it curves this way. So like my spine is already going this way, which means whatever stomach I have is also gonna go this way. Um, <laughs> But then, but there's also fat on top of that. It's not just my spine, but the spine does contribute. Um, but I do, that, that supplement has a beat the bloat benefit to it. And I'm still looking bloated. Like that part really was like a, you know, a couple of fists, a couple of blows to the, to the ego there. It's like, dang. I'm actively taking something that's supposed to make my stomach appear smaller and it's getting bigger. So I'm d I don't know. I, d I don't know why I'm still going. I, I, I think I just need to get that off my chest. Like I need to say these things out loud um, so that I can uh, like conceptualize and understand what I'm truly feeling. Cause a lot of this, you know, when you talk out loud, your thoughts go in a direction that they may not go if you just kept them inside, you know? It won't be an immediate change because I still have so much food to get through in my house, but there will be a shift in my style of eating or the things that I choose to eat. They're still gonna be delicious though because I cannot sacrifice flavor. I, I cannot eat just to be eating. When I'm eating, it's because it's something that I'm that tastes good to me, you know? <laughs> I am on lunch now. It's 12, 17. That means I've been talking to you for like, what, 20 minutes? 18 minutes. Yeah, gotta go. I, I planned on editing on my break. I think I still am, but now I have 20 less minutes to do that. I'll catch y'all in a different setting. And uh, welcome back to those of you who do not want to hear about those trigger warnings that I just mentioned. This is a drastic change of scenery, isn't it? It is currently raining. It's almost 6 p.m. But from looking outside, you would think it was like, I don't know, maybe 8, 8.30. But I got off work and immediately finished editing. I also uh, edited on my lunch break, but I think I told y'all that. Overall, this vlog took me like 10 hours to get through. For having five and a half hours of footage, I guess that makes sense. But like, it was, <laughs> it was getting a little tough there at the end. But I am on my way to Ulta right now because I really want to find some like, I'm hoping I can find some like spooky season lashes. I saw some at Macy's when I was with my mom, actually in the vlog that I just edited, but I didn't get them because I didn't know what I was doing or if I was doing anything for Halloween and I didn't want to buy them just to have them. So I didn't get them. But now I really wish I would have because then I would not be leaving the house right now. But I'm going out tomorrow, but I'm also going to be hanging out with Grant during the day. And I don't really want to add on to the number of stops we have to make tomorrow, especially if I end up having to make more than one stop because if Ulta does not have them, then I'm going to have to look elsewhere. Potentially Target or even like Marshalls, I feel like would have stuff like that. Oh, I cannot see very well. But oh, now I'm getting rained on. Ugh. Ugh. I really did not anticipate it raining when I got off work. Actually, when I literally, when I started putting my clothes on to leave the house, it was not raining. And as soon as I like finished getting dressed, I could hear the rain falling, which was a little disheartening, but I'm trying not to let that keep me from doing what I need to do. But it is making me, you know, if my hair wasn't straight, this wouldn't bother me as much. <laughs> but rain and, and my hair are kind of enemies. 
which is why I have two hoods on right now. The lashes that I saw and that I'm hoping to see now, they have like, had like bats on the tips of them and they were really, like even my mom thought they were cute. She was the one who pointed them out to me and I really wish I would have gotten them. But it's okay, you live and you learn. I'm actually surprised I didn't get them to be honest because I think she even said she was like, I, you would wear those, wouldn't you? And I, the answer is yes and now I plan to, but don't have them. Ugh. Oh, I forgot I had a claw clip in my hair. I can't sit back. That's another thing. Broke one of my claw clips. Another one of my claw clips. Oh, trying to leave the house. Or I think it broke earlier and like I felt it crack, but I just didn't realize it was actually broken because it just like stayed in my hair. And then I just took it out and went to put it back in and literally one whole side of it just fell off. So I'm kind of getting low in the claw clip department, but what can you do? I think I might have three claw clips left, but they're all like very different. I need uh, probably another small one or a medium one at least. Who knows, maybe I'll see one of those that catches my eye, but that's not what I'm going for. I'm going for lashes and potentially like spookyish, witchy face decals maybe. Cause like, I think I'm gonna do like makeup makeup for tomorrow, but I would like to have things that are gonna make it a little bit easier on me. Who is tooting? Who is honking their horn? <laughs> it is raining cats and dogs and you have nerve to drive aggressively. Well, maybe not cats and dogs, but at least a cat. It's raining cats. I don't know, the dogs might be showing up. TBH. Thankfully, Old Hood is not far from my house. I do not want to be outside right now. It's people out here, even though it's raining. People are not famous by the rain. I'm gonna take your space right there. I'm gonna take your little space thing. Oh, come on. Uh, my car is. Do that is so funny. Alright, we're just gonna. Okay, 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 now it's, it's working. That, that is so... <laughs> okay, um, what just happened was y'all just witnessed my steering wheel lock up, which happens when it rains sometimes because I have an old car. My, what is it? I don't remember what my daddy called the belt, but apparently when water gets on it, the steering wheel locks up. <sighs> and I kind of forgot about that. And I always forget about it because it only happens when it rains and I typically do not drive when it's raining unless I'm like going to work. So that was just unpleasant, but it loosened up quicker than it usually does. So hopefully it's fine. Let's get into this store real quick. Ulta was a bust. Um, I did get something, but definitely not what I was hoping for. Cause I also wanted like black lipstick, but the closest thing I could find was this about face black shadow stick. You can't see this, but it's in the color. I think kill the lights is the name of the color, but it's a shadow stick, not a lipstick, but you know, you can put eyeshadow on your lips. That's fine. But I am still kind of going to try to find those lashes or whatever. But actually, I think I'm going to try to do some research before just going blindly. Because I really thought that Ulta was going to have my bag. They have all types of Christmas mess in there, but they don't have a single Halloween thing. When Halloween is literally in like four days. <sighs> and when I say Christmas mess, I don't really... I'm, Chris, I'm not blaming it on Christmas, but like, come on. Christmas is two months from now. Halloween is in four days. You're missing the mark. You're really missing the mark. Let's see. Target. No. Although I, Walmart probably is an option too, but that's not what I wanted. Um, okay. Okay. It's giving that they only have one. Well, these are clown lashes, but I don't really mind those to be honest. They have some butter, green butterflies on them. That's better than what I've been seeing, which is literally nothing. So, yeah, 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 they got, they have novelty lashes. That's all I'm looking for. That's crazy. <sighs> always end up at a freaking Target. I be trying to avoid it. I don't be intentionally always trying to go to Target, but they have everything. What do you want me to do? I'm also kind of nervous about my dog on the steering wheel. Thankfully, everything is in close proximity. 
have some kind of Halloween-y looking stuff up in this Discovery, but I'm not going to go in there. I'm not going. I'm not going. I hate how dark it is, and it's only 6.20. This is ridiculous. I was in Five Below last week, and I don't think I saw any spooky lashes. Because that's even closer than Target, but I'm not trying to waste my time. This is the Halloween store. They probably do have spooky lashes in the Halloween store, wouldn't you think? Wouldn't you think? Should I go in there? Um, okay, maybe I am going to go in there instead of Target. I don't know. I'm just going to go to Target because I just confirmed that they have what I'm looking for. So, we're going to do what we got to do and get the heck on. Wow, the drive through for Portillo's is long. I don't think I ever see that with a short line, to be honest, though. Alright, cool. Not the parking lot at Target is busing, too. Come oh, on, it's raining. Folks should be in the house. And by folks, I mean me. It's gonna rain. Da -da -da -da. Ooh, parking space. Come on, baby. Right next to the cart corral. Just how I like it. Next to the Tessie. All right. Let's try this again. All right, I'm back home, out of the rain. Target was still kind of a bust because I didn't, I couldn't find the lashes that I saw in the app. But in the app, it did say they only had one left, and they probably could have been sitting literally anywhere in the store. But this is a better look at the shadow stick thing that I got from Ulta. So this is the About Face, literally shadow stick, matte eyeshadow stick in the shade Kill the Lights. So basically exactly what I said in the car. But I'm going to swatch it because I didn't swatch it in the store. But I did like open the tester and look at it. And it was like, you know, a reasonably sized tip, kind of like a crayon. Like a lipstick would be. This is the tube. Um, about face. I don't know if that's gonna focus. Probably not. That's what the tip looks like. And yeah, the one in the store was very worn down, but let's see. Let me turn another light on. Probably not gonna help over here, is it? I'm moderately out of breath. Mm -hmm. I feel kind of weak too, to be honest, and I don't like that. We're just gonna swatch. Oh, that's pretty smooth though. That was really smooth. Hold on. Let me take this in the bathroom because I think I'm going to try it on my lips. Pretty sure my lips are too dry to be putting this on, but hey, I'm a rebel. Here's the swatch again in better lighting. Ignore this bloob down here. I swatched a Kat Von D something or other in Target. Didn't really like it though because it was partially because it was $23. This was $14, I think, but I had 20% off at Ulta. Let me, let's see. I'm gonna line my lip first. I'm just gonna turn you this way so I can look in the mirror. Yeah, this goes off very smooth. You have to be very precise with this. Yeah, my lips are way too dry. <laughs> the dry is coming through. But I think it's given what I needed it to give. I don't like the butthole thing though, you know? All the time doing this like I'm about to wear this out. Yeah, I think this is going to accomplish my goals. It's vampy. It's kind of, with my sweatshirt, it's kind of reading green. Which, realistically, I could have gotten a dark green lipstick and wouldn't have been mad about it. What do we think? What are we thinking? What is it giving? You know, and then with, let me get the lashes. Hold on. So these are... The lashes I got, they're, I mean, they're not really giving what I wanted them to give. I really wanted like the little bats coming off the end of the lashes or whatever, but I didn't see that and I was not going to go to another store or drive. Well, I was willing, I would have gone to another store if it wasn't raining, but I didn't want to keep driving in the rain. So we're going to try these. I'm just going to see what they look like. I'm not actually going to glue them on, but, you know, kind of sit them on my eye and see what it's, what it's doing for me. They're very soft. I feel like they're not going to do anything, to be honest, because they're kind of already not doing anything. 
They're so natural. Yeah, that's not gonna cut it, actually. They're too natural. I would need them to like really stand up for you to even be able to see what they're doing. Yeah, it just looks like a normal lash, which is not horrible, but like not really doing what I was hoping it was gonna do. They look a lot more weird in the thing than they do on my eye. I want weird. I needed them to be weird. I don't know. Maybe I'll run. Cause like one of the things that Grant and I are doing tomorrow is going to the mall because he needs to go to JCPenney. So I might end up going to Macy's and see if this Macy's has the lashes that I saw at the Macy's by my parents' house because those lashes are not gonna cut it. Don't let me start vibing with a black lip because I'll do it. <laughs> I tried, started, I wore my first red lip for real, for real last year around Christmas. Don't get me started on a black lip. Don't do it. And then last but not least, I did get one last thing. These caught my eye at the checkout these happy apples i got these i think this is my third time buying these but i hadn't seen them the last like five times i went to target and they were right by the register when i was walking out so i bought some of these i actually had two other things in my hand and they spoiler alert they were vinyl but i did not get them because they were more than i thought they were going to be i thought they were going to be like 11.99 or 13.99 because that's what all the little price things said and when i tried to scan it in the app they didn't show up but I got to the register and one was 23 and one was 26. So I put them back. But it was a Motown Christmas vinyl. It was literally Motown Ones, which is this. Hold on. Can I point? There we go. That's the Motown Ones, like just the regular Motown Ones. But they had Motown Ones Christmas. Uh, and then they also had the original TV soundtrack of How the Grinch Stole Christmas. But I didn't get them. I didn't get them. I put them back. I literally had scanned them at self-checkout and had the lady come void them out. Because I'm trying to be responsible. But I didn't want them. But they cost more than I thought they were going to. <sighs> I'm really kind of vibing with this black lip. I can't even lie. And I think I'm going to call my mom and see what her reaction is. Y'all want to y'all wanna hear my mom's reaction? But once we get on the phone, I'm going to cut the camera off. We just want to, we're just going to get the reaction. If she even answers the phone. Because she didn't answer the phone for me last night. Ah! Please. We just came back to the Halloween. Her lips are green. They're actually black, but they do look kind of green. <laughs> oh, I'm so, uh, sitting here watch, watching YouTube. Watching Brittany Broski, actually. I've watched two Brittany Broski things back to back. Didn't pause the TV. Probably should have. Didn't turn the camera on to show y'all that. I haven't been drinking anything since I put this on. And I just went to prep. Like, I just drank out of this cup. Do you see any lipstick on it? Do you see that? I mean, it's not lipstick. It's eyeshadow, but like... It's been on for, it's 8.42. I got home a little bit after seven. So it's been on for like an hour and a half. I've been a consumer of this fucking media for that long. I just kind of intrinsically knew what to do. Of like, Nothing. I've seen people get pigeonholed. What? I've seen people be known Love as that. The, Transfer the proof. Outro. Ooh, I only have 12 minutes. That's really going to cut short whatever I was about to do. Um, <laughs> maybe that's a good thing. Because there's a lot I just wanted to talk about. But what I really turned the camera on for is I'm going to try to do sock curls in my hair. And I'm actually going to use the new socks that I got since they haven't been on feet. And they're like a nice material uh, that I can confirm. They're 55% cotton, 43% nylon, and 2% spandex. So they shouldn't do too much catching on my hair. Goodbye. <laughs> That's part of the thing I want to talk about. Um, so, in here we're going to have, I don't think it's going to be a polarizing conversation because like, I don't think my take is particularly polarizing. That's wild. Like, yes, some came off, but like, I've been wearing this for three hours and I just blotted and that's all that came off. That's crazy to me. Um, but, ooh, and my battery finna die. I either need to change my, well, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I don't know how long this is going to be. Um, 
I'm in a group chat with all the people I went to Michigan with. And by now you have seen everybody I went to Michigan with. Like I literally put pictures in the vlog of the entire group. So like you saw the exhaustive list of who was there. And I mean, it's pretty obvious to the naked eye that I stand out in, in the group. Um, and with that comes, you know, some, and they, I'm not even gonna say differences, but just like things that I'm thinking about that I'm fairly certain they probably aren't thinking, but they're just things that are like ingrained in me as a black person, um, person of color, black person, I'm black. Um, <laughs> uh, and the topic of rump shaking came up in Michigan. Like everybody likes, and I'm going to say shake ass right now. Like, cause that's just the way I'm going <laughs> to describe it. Cause that's how I feel about it. Like I like to shake my ass. Like I do. That is something I enjoy doing. I like dancing that way. That is a way I enjoy expressing myself. But I typically only do it maybe when I'm alone. Maybe if I've had a couple drinks and I'm out, maybe I'll do it a little bit. But I've never been one who like, you know, advertise that I got something going on back there, you know? But you know, there's like a, I won't say a trope, but it is a pattern that I have recognized having diverse friend groups. But it always ends up being where like, Everybody likes to twerk. Everybody likes to shake, feel like they, you know, look good shaking their butt. And if somebody doesn't know how to do that and they desire to learn, typically they're going to ask a black person. And if you make yourself the only available resource, you're probably gonna end up having to teach somebody how to, you know, throw that thing around. Um, <laughs> but, but it's always been kind of hard for me to reconcile that on a personal level. Like, I just feel like I don't want to, not that I don't want to objectify myself in that way, but it does kind of, it's kind of hard to ensure that it's not painting you a certain way. But realistically, I don't really care how I'm painted because at the end of the day, I'm me and me likes to shake my ass. Um, <laughs> and if you really are genuinely interested in learning, I will genuinely teach you, but that doesn't mean I get to control the narrative of how people see me once I do that. And this is, it came up in the group chat, like via text, and I'm already very shy about being in group chats. And that just drew a lot of attention to me because like I was called out by name and reminded like that I said I would, I did. I told one of the girls while we were out there that I would help, I would teach her, but we never got around to it. She was like, I just remembered you never did it. And I'm like, that's facts. And I I said, there's still time. Like I'm still gonna do it. <laughs> But for some reason, it just was like very weird to me because there's also like men in the chat. And when the conversation was happening, um, I don't think all of the men were in the room. I think all the girls on the trip heard it and were a part of the plan. But I don't think all of the guys were. But now they are. Now they're in on it. Also, I don't really know what I'm doing as far as this curl situation is going. Ooh, do I have a clip? I don't. I mean, I do, but it's not right here. Hold on. But this same group, minus the people that like came from somewhere other than Illinois, is going to be together tomorrow night. Like that's the Halloween thing I'm going to do. That's the whole reason I went out to try to find black lipstick and lashes. Um, and if we're going out, chances are we're gonna dance. So I'm probably gonna shave my hands. Um, especially since now it's going to be like provoked. Like somebody's going to encourage me to do it. Cause a lot of times I won't because I'll be sitting down and if nobody like, if nobody else is up dancing, then I'm probably not up dancing. But now I, it's going to be a focal point, so I'm probably gonna do it. But it's it it's really hard for me not to feel uh, performative and objectified, even though I'm doing something I desire to do and I'm doing it by choice. So I don't know. I don't really know how to reconcile that, but that's something I'm I'm uh, dealing with mentally right now. <laughs> And also in a group chat that already being in a group chat makes me anxious. So uh, being addressed by name on a subject that I have feelings about only, you know, adds to the anxiety. <laughs> but I'm not mad about it. Like, don't take this as like, I, because I'm just like expressing the way my mind sees it, even though I'm probably still going to do it and I'm going to have fun with it. But like, even when I watch... It's a very specific instance. And I'm going to point out the end, but there's a black, 
I don't know if she, I, I think she, they, they might be non-binary, so I don't really want to call, you know, I don't want to misgender them, but she, they are, mm, see, it's, um, okay, um, I believe, well, I know they're a black feminine presenting person, um, and they like to twerk, and they do it quite liberally, but it is a primarily white space. And most of the time she is the, they are the only black person on screen. Um, I, I don't know. Their pronouns, pronouns might be she and I might be tripping, tripping over my words, you know, unnecessarily, but I'd rather be safe than sorry because I don't want to misgender anybody. Um, yeah, a lot of times they are the only black person on screen and they will be twerking. And like, for, it makes me cringe. Like <laughs> for some reason that makes me cringe. Like, but I, I'm a, I'm probably gonna be what makes me cringe tomorrow and enjoy it, <laughs> to be honest. But that doesn't fa change the fact about how I feel. Um, I wish I didn't feel that way, to be honest. I wish I cared less. I wish I had fewer inhibitions when it came to shaking my ass, cause it's fun. <laughs> and I'm, I'd say relatively good at it. I don't have I don't have a lot of uh, reassurance in that because most of it takes place alone in my bathroom, typically before I get in the shower. <laughs> but you know, from what I see, it looks pretty good to me. <laughs> Just wanted to share that. How many minutes I got left? Four. I hope this actually works because I really do not want to sleep in flexi rods. I don't know if y'all can even tell what I'm doing. But I'm like rolling my hair around the sock and then rolling the sock over my hair to hold the curl in. Pretty sure you could see that, but I don't know. Maybe the explanation might help somebody. And then Grant then uh, chimed in because he's in that chat as well, saying that uh, his crystal ball is showing him twerking uh, in the future. But hey, I mean, we're all going to be doing it. I'm not the only one. I know I'm not the only one in that group that likes to do a little rump shaking. So I'll be in good company. But I, I, you know, I, I mean, and that is my friend group. So like, I choose to be there. I am there by choice. It's not like a, I don't know. But I lo love my friends. It's just, I'm trying to find, be, with me, ah, see, there we go. Um, with me already being kind of a, a relatively closed off person among people that I know for the most part understand. Oh, well, at least understand my experience for the most part, like people who witnessed me grow up and like have a similar frame of reference. It's also, it's going to be equally as hard to like, if not more, more difficult to open up to people that some things could already be misconstrued from the jump without you even really knowing it. But I don't, I mean, not to say I think that's the case, but I'm just saying it's an added layer of complication when it comes to trying to be your authentic self. And I do empathize and sympathize with with that, because sometimes you're code you code switch and don't even realize you're doing it. Um, I think I'm like my demeanor is the same. My delivery might be a little different, but the message, the message is the same. Delivery is a little different. That's what my I mean. But I think that's code switching in general. Code switching should not be, you know, being a completely different person. Person. I mean, for some people, unfortunately, like if you truly desire to fit in which that's objectively not necessary fitting in Ooh, we only got one minute and we're getting deep and i feel like if i walk away i'm not gonna have the same train of thought hold on let me finish this roll and then i'm gonna replace my battery and do something about this memory situation i look like a puppy i just made five hours and 49 minutes of space on this memory card period. It is very uncanny that as soon as I turned the camera off, I like checked the group chat and was like reading the messages. And as soon as I put the phone down, I like started shaking my rump in the mirror. Like that was my immediate response. Cause like they're talking about that. Like everybody finna be in. I'm like, that's facts. We all finna turn up. <laughs> but uh, just that, I guess that being the focus of the conversation in the group chat. And I don't really talk that much. And the first like me focused conversation in the conference in the group chat is about me shaking my butt. I think that was the primary trigger for me feeling uh uneasy. But like I'm not uneasy in general. Like act like I'm not uneasy like with this specific group. I don't believe. Like I'm I'm pretty comfortable, and I'm certain I will be 
you know, lit, turned up, having a ball nope. tomorrow. But <laughs> just in general, being aware of the circumstance and of the stereotypical dynamics of groups where you're, you know, the potential for stereotypical dynamics or the appearance of them at least in groups where you're the only representation of your demographic, you know. But, uh, yeah, welcome to my, or thank you for attending my TED Talk. Hopefully these curls turn out cute. Because they have, ooh, I should, I do that every time. I'm like, dang, I should have put something on there to make them hold or last longer. Because these curls are going to have to last me all day. Like, literally all day. Because I'm leaving the house before I go out tomorrow. And I have no desire to put heat on my hair. Like I don't want to use a curling iron. If I have to, I might. But that would be my last resort if my hair is genuinely looking a way that I don't approve of. I'm gonna go back to watching Colin and Samir's interview with Brittany Broski because it's over two hours. It's actually the same length as the video that I'm uploading to YouTube right now. Their video is two hours and 11 minutes. My video is two hours and 11 minutes. So I'm gonna go finish that. I think I'm like two-thirds of the way through so all right i have the camera angled so high because i'm not dressed right now but i am doing something that i feel like i should be filming um <laughs> this might not be the best idea to be honest i don't know what prompted me to get here but i'm here and i have to get this off <laughs> Woo! Um, i was not gonna film this hence why i'm not dressed but now that I'm here, I'm like, well, let's test my fortitude here because I'm really trying to avoid shaving because my skin never reacts well to that. But I don't have any more nair and I need to remove my armpit hair because my armpits will be out. I mean, I don't, you know, I, personally for me, I need to remove my armpit hair because my armpits are going to be out tonight in my costume. Um, so we are here. These are the Flamingo wax strips. I don't know if they expire because I've had these for like years, but because I don't really wax myself, I haven't really used them. And I really don't even know if this is gonna get the hair. Ah! Okay, we got like three hairs. Not ideal, not ideal at all. Um, there's a few hairs on there. I don't even know if you can see them. There's a couple, but not nearly all of them and you're really not supposed to keep waxing over the same spot but i don't know we're gonna try it on the bottom half and see what it's giving this is not as far as i can tell not going to give what i needed to give to be honest i did prep my armpit by cleaning it and then powdering it um but i want it to work even though it hurts i want it to work but it's not working like that, that's unacceptable. Like that's the part I just waxed. Where is, why is it still hairy? Which means I still have to do something to it, which means it's gonna be double irritated. But whatever, we're just not gonna repeat that on this side. But I was hoping for the best. I don't know, maybe I just didn't rub it in good enough, but I really thought I did. Oh, this is so lame. Okay. <sighs> Trying to get a good Okay, that one did a little better. Maybe I'm not as big of a chicken as I thought I was. That one got, can you even see it? More hair than the first one. Still not all of the hair, but more of it. We get, well, it might have gotten the full patch right here, like upwards, not so much. Do I do it again in the same spot? That just seems sadistic, to be honest, but, whew. Let me give myself a break, my shoulder getting tired. I did cut it in half, they are long, so this is the other side of that strip. Each strip has two strips technically facing each other, so I cut it into four. Hoping that I could do two per arm and be done, but clearly that's not the case. And we're gonna have to give this another go. I just, I can't fold my armpit down because it's sticky, and I don't want my armpit sticking to itself. Because then I, it's harder to rip my skin apart from itself. But I can rip the paper off. 
Hold on, let me. This is telling me I need to get a real wax kit if I'm capable of doing this to myself. If I can do this, I can do real wax. But I was scared that I wouldn't be able to do the real wax, which is why I wouldn't get a wax kit. Um, trying to warm it. I don't know if that was a bad idea. Did it tell me to warm it? I guess I should read the instructions. Okay, fine. I see all the warnings, but give me instructions. Where are the instructions? I don't know the warning. I want instructions. Here we go. Before you wax, after you wax. What about during? Yo, it's lame. While you wax, there we go. To keep it simple, your wax strips are ready to use. All you have to do is pull them apart slowly to keep the wax on both sides. For your hair leans, aka your hair growth direction, place the wax strip on your body in the direction of your hair growth to really secure it. Use one hand and pull the skin down. Okay. Okay, so maybe I didn't need to warm it and maybe that's the issue. Maybe I made it too gummy by trying to warm it. Cool back off. Because I know I had these like a long, long time ago from a different, I think they were the Veet wax strips and you had to like rub them in your hand to get them to work. But I guess I don't have to do that for these. Uh, maybe I shouldn't have and my armpit wouldn't be gummy. All right, peeling apart. Whew. Okay, notice the direction of my hair grow kind of every direction so that's not the most helpful but it's also because i already waxed it i can't go diagonal this time all right this is a double whammy on the same pit we're gonna see honestly i feel like i'm not as sweaty as i am when i get waxed by somebody else though maybe i guess i make myself less nervous but i am thirsty hold on Whew. okay <clears throat> my mouth was dry um okay okay are we ready? Are we ready? Are we ready? Whew. Okay, okay. Got to get a good grip. Come on, come on grip. Here we go. One, two. That did zero. I'm pissed. That got like two hairs off. I'm, I am flabbergasted. That's just, that just pissed me off. I'm over it. I'm going to invest in a real wax kit, but I'm going to also have to shave my armpits because I don't have any other hair removal option and this one is not working and I'm tired of pissing myself off. <laughs> oh, post wax cloth. I'm throwing this in the garbage and I'm not gonna lie because I've had this in the closet for like, and of course this is basically dry, so it's not even gonna get the wax off for you. Here we go. Um. Yeah, this is going in the garbage. It got, it worked for like a singular patch, like right there, but the rest of it, nothing. So we're gonna get us a real wax kit. We're gonna start doing this for real instead of going to pay people to do it because apparently I'm capable of doing it. I, mean, it I know, I think it hurts worse when you do it and the hair doesn't come off because then you're just snatching the hair and not removing it i don't know all right armpit is ungummed it's not sticky anymore thank goodness the wipes still work otherwise i'd really be in a pickle don't want to try this last one on this other armpit okay hold on let me let me repowder it because it's been down and getting damp it's like that's like the perfect amount of hair for waxing if you can see like it's visible i can feel it i can pinch it like that's what you want to be able to pinch the hair if you're going to wax it, you know, and barely, like even barely pinching it is enough because that's enough to grab onto, which is what you want the wax to do. Grab on. Throw it just a little bit. And I'm not going to be able to get the whole pit, but we're going to, we're going to try because I have a unused strip just sitting here. So let's give it a go, even though I'm not pleased. I wonder how I rip with my left hand. That's gonna be interesting. We're gonna go bottom half because that's what worked the last time. Trying to show you as much as I can without showing you too much. Okay, we're on. I'm really trying to like get it on the hair. This is the last strip I'm doing though, so regardless, the rest of it is getting shaved. Here we go. Okay, get a good grip. Ooh. This is the second time this week that I've, well, I guess the second time in two weeks that I've wished I was ambidextrous because I wished I was when I was doing my nails and I wish I was right now too. Ah! Okay, that one got a semi-reasonable amount of hair. 
It hurt a little worse though because I'm not as strong with my left hand so it didn't come off as fast. But I will say it didn't hurt that bad. Now if I can get the strength to do this downstairs, oh it's lit. It is truly lit. Because I always was like, how do people wax themselves? I know I can do my legs. My legs don't hurt, period. Like, when other people do them, it doesn't hurt. But, like, armpits and downstairs regions used to, I'd be very confused. I'm like, how do you, how do you do that? But now that I'm seeing that I, the armpit ain't that bad, I might, I might never be going to another uh, waxer again, to be honest. If I can get some wax that work. Well, you guys, you can kind of see the, the hairs through there. Nowhere near all of them. That one makes it look like, you can't even really tell though. Makes it look like I did a good job, but uh, clearly not, considering there is still hair in my armpit. Less of it, but still hair. And I don't even know if it pulled it from the root or just broke it off, to be honest. Because it could be, it just broke off. I just wanted to bring y'all in on that because I didn't know how it was going to go. But it went a lot less dramatic than I thought it was going to. And I'm about to get in the shower though, so. I think I lied. I think I'm about to do one more thing because I just saw that I have these little pre-cut strips and I'm pretty sure I cut these to do my top lip. So, or maybe, do I wanna try to, do I wanna do my top lip? Do I wanna wax my top lip right now? Decisions are being made, I'm peeling, but I just threw away my little wax wipe thing. I think we're still gonna go for it. Okay, actually, for funsies. Ugh. Honestly though, I think that did something. <laughs> I think my top lip is bald. It worked for that. Okay, it's giving bald top lip. Can I do a little bit more from the same strip though? I kinda get it right here. Not on my nose though. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Baby, we finna be a hairless, a naked mole rat up in here. Okay. <laughs> let's get it, let's get, let's get over here. Let's get over here. It's giving bald lip. It's giving bald lip. And we love that. I don't even know if his hair is right here, but I want to do it anyway. Because I'm always tweezing right here. So we just go smooth that on. We just go smooth the whole thing on. Even the part that's already been used, I don't even care. Because I'm tired. I do need the little wax thing though. The little white. Oh, we got a big ass hair. Oh my boy. I'm kind of glad I did that, to be honest, because I didn't even feel that one. I wonder if you can see it. I'm letting y'all all the way in my business, but uh, I kind of do that routinely anyway, so. I don't even think you can see it, dang. Oh well, but it's the hair is huge. That's a thick hair, and I'm glad it's off my face. Period, bald lip, and bald chin. I probably should do the other side. I'm finna. Bro, it just kind of teed me up low key. I'm kind of teed now, like in a good way. Lit, turned up, <laughs> excited. Don't judge me, it was sitting on top of the other wax stuff. Ugh. Now hopefully this don't make me break out whatever is on this wipe, but uh. Now my, I'm dead. My top lip blends into the, my face now. now. Now that I took my mustache off, now my top lip blends into my face. That's crazy. <laughs> Now me making my top lip invisible. LOL. I'm getting in the shower for real this time. I always have black on when I'm showing you my hair. <sighs> what can you do though? I just basically always have black on, period. So. Ooh. Yeah, whatever. It kind of just is what it is at this point. But. Make sure there are no creases back there. Like this side, just kind of doing something. This side, kind of just here. 
This is crazy. The front on this side is good, but the back is bad. The back on this side is good, but the front is not great. Interesting. I don't know what went wrong, but over here, kind of want to brush them out, actually. But, and I still want you here kind of way, but like a, you know. I actually have a round brush right here. I got a little uh, reversion happening right here in the front. I'm assuming that's from being in the hot shower, which probably wasn't the best idea to take such a hot shower when my hair wasn't actually wrapped. But, you know, you live and you learn. I'm gonna get this off my forehead since I'm already sweaty and this is already trying to revert. Mm. I don't think I like my hair right now, but what can you do? Whatever. It's fine. It's hair. Did he just call me? I didn't know. I did. About people that come through. What do you All right. We're kind of in a hurry here. Don't know what I'm doing, but you're going to figure it the heck out. That's what we're going to do. Ooh, this is so dirty. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It is currently 7 o'clock on the dot, actually. And we're supposed to be meeting at 7.30 and I'm like 30 minutes away from the place. So, it's giving late. <laughs> but it's fine. Because there's really no late as long as I get there eventually. I ran, so I haven't been vlogging since I left the restaurant. But we went to the mall, Grant and I, um... I didn't get anything at the mall, but after we left the mall, I stopped at Spirit Halloween and found some lashes. Not necessarily what I was seeking, and they look like they might be kind of uh, bent up. But I'm hoping that I can make these work, because I really just wanted lashes with something on them. And these have moons. Okay. I don't know. This, this lash might be a little compromised. We're going to make it work. They have little moons on them. That's the... Oh, okay, that's the issue. They're all just kind of sticky. Okay, because the back of the moons is sticky. I understand what the issue is now. They're all kind of just stuck to each other, which is in theory fine, I guess. As long as they don't stay stuck forever. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, 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 these should do, these should do. These should do reasonably well. Okay. What am I doing to my face is the question. I really wanted to do like a bushy brow and kind of like a full face, but I don't think I have time for that. Where did I put my belongings? Okay. I'll put my makeup because I don't even, I don't even, I don't even, uh, my whole, my whole brain is like in overdrive right now. I don't think I'm going to be able to do everything I want to do. We're going to, we're going to. We're gonna make it do something. I should probably do this first, right? Right, 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 maybe. I am frantic. I wish I knew what I wanted, and then it would make me make it easier to execute, but that's that would be asking for too much, I guess. Okay, we need the eyeliner that's going to need a paper and a tissue or something. <sighs> and I'm hot and sweaty. Okay, here we go. That's what we need. We need the fan. We need the fan. Because I am already sweaty and I'm kind of mad about my hair. Because it looked so cute last night with my costume when it was straight. But I did want the curls. And then the curl, at least me getting in the shower with the curls, was a, a bad move. Um, what am I doing? Deep breath. Okay. Um, I think we want to go in here. I'm going to go with this light shade. Kind of go all over the lid is like a base to set my greasy eyelid. Maybe I should have done brows first. Maybe we will go back and do brows first, actually. Ooh, this light is not, it's not really doing what I need to do. I need more light in here. Don't know if that's gonna help, but that is all the light I have to offer. Not really helping. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get, I need a vanity mirror. That's what I need, like a, bigger one or a brighter one or something because I can't see. 
but it does make me feel better that I'm sitting down <laughs> instead of standing at the bathroom sink. This is my first time doing my makeup at this desk, which was like the intention for it. Well, part of the intention. Um, okay, we're gonna start with the brows though. Because I kind of want like a big bushy brow for like a witch, you know? Ooh, why does my face look so textured right now? Whatever. Now is not the time to inspect my skin. So if we go in, like so. Do I have a brow pencil over here? I do love that. Hold on. Because I kind of want them to be a little bit more wild than usual. But like in a kind of sexy way. But I don't know if I can execute on that because I've never done such a thing. I think I'm just like setting the shape right now though. It's kind of giving werewolf more than witch, but what can you do? Do I have my, I do have my brow glue over here, hold on. I kind of want to just make my brows a little bit more like stand up-ish, if that's an option. I'd never do this with my brows. Up is usually not the direction I'm trying to go, but we're going to see what it gives. Still kind of want to point to them. Hey, this stuff is really working though. They're standing on end. Okay, I think we're getting what, what I'm trying to do. I just don't know if I like it. This is the NYX brow, what is it called? Brow free? NYX the brow glue. And it's gluing. It's glue. I don't even know if y'all can see that. Y'all aren't very close. Maybe, do y'all want to be closer? Is that too close? Who knows? Also, I'm sure this fan is not helping with the audio. It's that or sweat. And I'm not going to sweat. Don't want to sweat my face off before I get it on. Okay, brows are glued. Now back into... Well, I guess they should dry first. Let's go back into the eyes while we're waiting for our eyebrows to dry. Because I don't really have all the time in the world. I need a relatively stiff brush. Yeah, that's what we need. We need the pencil. Because I kind of want to... But this is a dark brown. Do I have a black in here anywhere? Probably not. Dang. Is that the darkest one? We're gonna do like a, a faux wing, maybe? I don't know what the hell this is gonna be, to be honest. But we're gonna try to make it even, whatever it is. I can't tell if they're even or not. I do wish I had black in here. Hold on. Is there a. I don't know if that's black. It's giving more dark gray, but we're gonna go. We're gonna work with it. Yeah, that's that's what we're going for here. That's the black we are giving grunge at the moment, but that's fine. That's kind of where we're at. And then the lash is gonna make everything better anyway. So lashes typically save the day. Ooh, these are not even. Fudge. Okay. Okay. We got the deep black going on. Now, which one of these greens am I going in for? Let's see, I need a, a reasonably clean brush. Let's go for Risk Taker. So that's green. That's green. I don't know if you can tell it's green, but it's green. Hey, in the camera, it looks better than it does in person, actually. <laughs> now, I don't know what that says, but that's the case right now. I think I want to go in with this, like, I need some, some mysticism going on here. This color is called Extra AF. We need some dimension. A little shimmer going on in the eyeball department. Okay, um, uh, putting this down. Let's get back into the brows real quick. Okay, where did my, there's this, where's the brush? Here we go. <laughs> back in with the pomade because the pencil is not doing what I need it to do. I really need to see what's happening. Yeah, even this isn't really... Because I want it to look like hair. But it's not really giving me what I'm seeking. It kind of just looks like I have a brow on top of my brow. But it's... I don't know. Because witches don't really have... Well, stereotypical witches. Not modern day witches. Don't really have nice brows, I would say. But I don't know. Who the heck knows? Did I bring my concealer in here? I did. I just had it out. Is this the one that's... No, that's the dark one. Where is the one that matches my complexion? Did I pull it off? No, this is the light one. Where is the one that matches me? I 
come on. Do not hide from me. Here we go. Here we go. Or is this the light one? No, that's, this is the one that's my color. Um, do I have the brush for it? Do I? I should. Oop, no, that's not it. And do I think it's a brush? Is this you? Here you go. There you are. 7.18. I just want to be there before 9 p.m. <laughs> you know, I probably should have done this before I started my eye makeup, but maybe it will also help clean up the eye makeup. Having a defined under brow with a bushy top brow, I think is what I'm going for. And I'm just gonna kind of wipe most of this off and then blend down. It's getting kind of muddy right here because I end up being wearing black eyeshadow. I'm not trying to put black under my brow. Let's see, do I have a brush that I can use to blend this? I think I think you're you're the one. Are you the one? You're the one. Oh, let me not make a mess. Between the concealer and my shadow, which I don't know how that's working, to be honest. The brows are definitely giving sisters, not twins, but what can you do? Well, I mean they're supposed to give they're giving cousins is what I mean. I look kinda nuts. <laughs> I think that's part of the appeal, is to look kinda nuts. Makeup light is what I'm looking for. Are these gonna be dry? Is the question. I don't know. Let's see. No, it is not giving dry. Thank you. Oh, that's giving too many though. Yay! Okay. I am feeling better about that specifically. Now, what do I want to do in terms of liner? And I know this is real juicy, because it usually is. Okay, it's not looking that bad, actually. Kind of giving it doesn't really matter if my wings are even, because they're kind of hidden in my eyeshadow anyway. But I think they're kind of even. Okay, do I have a crayon eyeliner? So I can get in this waterline real quick. Here we go. Do I want to go any further than this? Or do I want to just go straight into putting my lash on now? Where is my lash? What did I do with her? What did I do with my eyelashes? Nah, for real. Oh, here they are. I am losing it. It's garbage, garbage. I'm going to put the lashes on and then decide if I want to do anything else. I don't know if my eye shadow stops in the same place. I don't think it does. I don't know, maybe? I can't really tell. I think this wing is smaller than this one but do I want to okay because I was thinking about like gluing lashes together do I want to ruin these lashes because I really like these I don't know if that'll ruin them though and if I put them together what's that gonna do how oh, that's that fair okay actually I think that might be better okay yeah that's what we're gonna do we're gonna mush us together a lash and they kind of just stick together on their own look custom lashes. How about it? And these lashes were actually pretty short too. Like the ones I just got from Spirit Halloween. The band. Like this lash stops here and the Spirit lash stops here. So you see the difference? You probably don't see the actual difference but where I'm pointing is the difference. I think these are well combined or reasonably combined at least. Where's my lash glue? And of course, I still gotta do my lip, which I probably should have put some lip balm on before I got started with my makeup, so my lips could be pre-moistened. But I did exfol I exfoliated my lips this morning after I did my skincare, so we should be in a better place than we were last night. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Lash time. I feel like I haven't put lashes on in forever, actually. Right now is not the time for it to not be working. I don't think I'll let my glue get tacky enough. Yeah, because this one like stuck right on. Why are these moons overlapping like this? Don't do that. Ugh. Whoopsie. Mm -hmm. Not quite sure how I feel. Really wish this would like face forward. Eyes ah, getting dry because I'm holding it open. 
Please, fan, do not make my eyes water. Now is not the time for a watery eye. I kind of wanted to do something, you know, under my face, like under the eye, but I don't know what. Let me do my lips real quick, I guess. Do that first. Where it is? Here's my faux lip product. Mm -mm -mm. I'm messing it up. Don't do that. Don't do that. I feel like my inner corner too, my inner corner liner could come in a little further. Where, okay, let's see. My mom told me I should do a mole. Should I? Not with this. <laughs> Is that enough for the lip? I'm kind of tempted to do like a little green shimmer in the lip. Like this shimmer maybe? What wooden brush you don't need for that. Hey, I think that's kind of witchy. What do you think? <laughs> okay. I kind of want to like do some face stuff though. Like I want a contour. I would probably need to get a darker contour to be honest, but no, this, this is my color. I don't think this is my dark one. Is this the dark one? What did I do? There's a third concealer somewhere in my life over here. One, two, buckle my shoe. I don't know what I do with my other concealer. That's not great. Is it on the floor? I know I dropped some stuff and then didn't care where it fell, but now I care. I just, no, I didn't just have it in my hand. What the fridge? It's probably right in front of me and I just can't see it, but it's right in front of me, so I can't see it. Oh, nope, it was not in front of me. It was on the floor. Okay, 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 here we go, here we go. Ooh, do I still have, I forgot I have my witch earrings too well, from last year. Oh, I know where they are. Not my earring being like hooked wrong, whatever. My earring fell out when I was going into Spirit Halloween. I don't know what I was doing, but it fell out. Maybe yeah, I do actually want to highlight. Probably should have wet my beauty blender, but it's fine. Hmm. I don't know if I can do that without messing up my freaking business that I already got going on. Maybe that's not the best idea, but I am going to highlight my nose. And maybe contour my nose too. Maybe I will do just a little bit of highlight under the eye, just a little. But I really don't want to mess up my my smokiness. I don't want to actually make my under eye green, you know? <laughs> that wouldn't be great. But hey, I am kind of witchy, so like, I guess a green under eye would kind of work. I like the forehead a little bit too then, hey. Actually, that, I think, I feel like that just <laughs> made a pretty uh, decent difference in the overall effect. Mm, okay, do I want to put blush on? Is blush a thing that I'm doing today? Maybe. Just a, just a touch. I don't know if I anticipated doing a full beat today, but I'm kind of enjoying the fact that I am. I do need to get a move on though. It is 7.42. I'm pretty sure nobody's really going to be like on time, on time. This lip is giving. <laughs> is it giving clown in the monitor? Maybe a little, but I'm a witch. It's Halloween. This is not sexy makeup. It's costume makeup that is still kind of giving sexy though, if I do say so myself. All right, now I kind of need to set my little business going on here. My contour is not blended very well, I will say, but hey, you know, what can you do? It's kind of giving five o'clock shadow on the lowest of keys, but where's the blush? The brush I just had for my blush. Here we go. This is my blush brush. A little bit. Ooh. Yeah, that's that's a little much. I'll have to dab that with my I don't know. Blush might be a little much, actually. I might need to go over a little bit with this. Just kind of tone it down. Shoot. I didn't blend <laughs> didn't blend my tip of the nose. It did still kind of look kind of cute though. With just the dot there. Oh my camera's about to die. Okay, um, am I done with my face? How do I feel? Hey, looking at myself in the big mirror, I'm not mad about it, actually. Is my camera gonna die? If it does, I don't know if, <laughs> if I have time to get the, I might just have to show you on my phone if my camera dies, but I think I'm done with the face. I need to take my lip with me, which is this, and technically this too, but I'm not taking this. Once the glitter's gone, it's kind of a goner, TBH. That is done. Now I need my earring. Wait, I also need to change my purse. Here's my purse. Did I tell y'all? This is the purse I'm carrying. I'm going to wear it around my waist and then, you know, have my cloak on so you won't be able to see it. 
What else? What else do I need? Do I need a beauty blender? Probably not. Hopefully not. But I am going to bring lash glue. Where's my telephone? Oh, telephone. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, here. Do I need anything else? Oh, obviously my keys at some point, but that'll be momentarily. Got my lip, got that in there. Is there any makeup piece that I feel like I'm missing? Oh, battery's finna die. Put the glove on. So I gotta figure my hair out too. Forgot that part. Sheesh. Okay, okay. My camera is dead, but like, it's giving. It's, it's in the details, you know? The details are there. I have my fanny pack on, but like, it kind of just blends in, you know, when I have it off to the side. Let's see. Like, excuse me? Who is she? But now I gotta put my combat boots on and we'll see how that goes. But I'm gonna call my mom so she can see my outfit before I leave. But I am feeling like fine AF, TBH. Didn't know it was gonna come together, but it did. It's kind of giving podcast right now because I know you can't see me. And I really wish I had my camera with me right now. My car isn't on, my doors are locked, but I'm sitting in the parking lot after my evening out. I really wish you could see me because I look so good. Just for a second. Oh, and you still can't see it. Come on, hold on. Like, my costume kind of ate. I'm not gonna lie. I'm turning this back off though because I don't want people seeing me sitting in my car. You ever, like, okay. And it's hard for me to talk candidly because I know that the people I was just with have full access to what I'm posting to the internet. But, uh... You ever feel like your light just shines too bright for where you are, you know? And not so much that, like, not to say I'm, like, this is in no way saying that I'm, like, better than anybody or, like, too good to be where I was. Because, like, I would have stayed if the energy matched my energy. Um, and actually, I still kind of want to just, like, be out on my own, kind of. But the only thing stopping me is, like, safety, you know? <laughs> Like, I, I would like to stay out, but all everybody I was with has already left. I mean, it is actually 1234, 1, 2, 3, 4. Um, <laughs> and that's another thing. I've been seeing so many angel numbers today. I've seen 333 three, three, actually three times today. Um, and, like, that... I'm literally about to cry. I, like, and you can't even see me. That's so irritating. <laughs> like, I wish you could see me. But it's like... I I feel I felt so in alignment today and like I told y'all I spent time with Grant or whatever like we spent time together earlier and that's the first two times that I saw 333 were with Grant and then the third time I saw it was by myself when I stopped at um Spirit Halloween. I have seen uh 444 specifically. I I think I also no I did see 777 as well since I've like been out like like since I left the house with my costume and stuff but like it's hard to explain like I I felt like I like I want to be seen like I look good I put effort into my costume I want to go out and do things but I don't want to be alone and like I always end up alone <laughs> I'm about to cry but like I do like regardless of how I try to spend time with people or like you know I'm willing to be there like it's not that I don't want to go out or I don't like going out I will go out but I can never find anybody that like matches my energy in a way that uh I guess lasts uh, I, I'm like saying all these things for the first time and also mind you I am I guess relatively intoxicated like I've had a couple of drinks and I did have a gummy before I got out of the car but I'm pretty sure that's worn off by now because that was like uh sh nine almost four hours ago three and a half hours ago like I'm relatively sober right now I would say I haven't had a drink in probably an hour and a half um and I did only ha I think I had three I had three margaritas but they were pretty close together and like I said an hour and a half ago so I am pretty sober and also still sitting in the car like I'm not even driving I just came I we just walked out and I came and sat in my car uh, because I'm also looking at the other place that I'd be willing to go, but I don't want to start drinking again because I do have to drive home. And now I'm technically out by myself. So, you know, it's just, it's really weird being 
I guess a loner but I don't really describe myself that way I don't guess I mean I am a loner I do like being alone I live alone and I thrive I guess on my own but I don't really because like I don't do much when I'm by myself but that's more so you know because of distractions basically because I could easily like during the fast that's what I want to do I want to figure out how to be on my own and actually do things other than watch tv scroll on social media talk to the camera which like that I'm gonna continue to do but um like even because editing is the only other thing that I really do per se like I spend time doing but I want to do other things like I want to explore my depths because I and that's something that's been coming up a lot, especially with Grant, is, like, staying on the surface. And that was kind of the issue tonight. Like, that's why I'm assuming that's why he left. I don't know. Um, I don't want to put words in anybody's mouth. But he does have an issue with, like, staying on the surface. It's hard for him to spend time in spaces where people aren't talking about something, quote-unquote, quote-unquote, worth talking about, you know. But I don't necessarily mind that. I would have preferred a higher energy situation but like every time I go to the club it's usually just sitting listening to loud music but I don't mean that I went to the club tonight but like even when I go to a club where the energy is higher I still don't typically participate all that much but it's just kind of more fun to people watch then yeah I don't know I just I think what I'm really salty about is that my costume looks so good and I look so good and I didn't really get to show it off I would love to do something else. I'd love to keep going. I'd love to keep bar hopping. But first of all, first and foremost, it is currently raining. Like, as I'm sitting here, it is raining. I paused to see if you could hear it, but I don't know if my phone is going to pick it up. But, like, my windshield... I have to stop recording to show you. Maybe I can just turn around. Um, I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if it's focused because I was recording on the front front camera. If it wasn't raining, maybe I'd be more inclined to take the risk of going out by myself. And not to even say that it's a risk. Like, I mean, everything's a risk. But, I don't know. The rain is definitely making me less inclined to follow my inhibitions. Because part of me is like, if I go in there, what's the point? Like, what, what am I going in there for if I'm not you know with somebody but like I guess I don't know because that's the thing that I meet strangers which is a good thing but I don't really it could also be a bad thing you know <laughs> you don't know you never it's it's literally a risk I don't I just am really I guess disappointed maybe and also to add to that point like the whole group wasn't even out tonight and I was expecting to be like with the whole group I don't have any issue with the group that was there but like the energy definitely would have been higher if it was everybody or at least different I don't know if it would be higher but it would have been different every new energy you add changes the atmosphere I just want to do something I don't want to go home and take my makeup off and do nothing and I want to cry right now and now is the time that I feel like I really could cry but I don't want to because I want I don't want to cry my makeup off because now if I'm not doing anything I want to go home and take pictures maybe that means I should just go home and take pictures this is really lame I guess I'm done here Time to go freaking home. I can literally hear single ladies playing. <laughs> and I kind of wish I was in there. Oh, I still haven't moved. It's probably been about 10 minutes since I turned off the camera. I've been scrolling on Instagram. I really need to leave. You can see the rain now. I don't know if you could see it before, but this is rain. What you're seeing on my window is rain. And the sound of the rain against my window pane my whole world's upside down yo don't ask me why i just broke it i mean obviously the sound of the rain against my window pane is what inspired it but uh you know i'm kind of in the mood it's it's giving it's giving many emotions that i for some reason don't get to feel but I'm feeling them without expressing them I don't know who's to hold up it's like I'm willing to feel the feelings 
the feelings just won't feel. <laughs> I don't know if that's protection or what. But sometimes it'd probably be, it'd be nice to cry. I just don't want to cry right now. <laughs> don't want to cry off my makeup. Bro, I really, it, it's time for me to go home. I've really just been a sitting duck for about 30 minutes, to be honest. <sighs> Without you being able to see me. Which is probably a good thing, because that means other people, hopefully, also cannot see me. <laughs> I'm kind of hungry, but I don't want to stop for food. Because I really don't have a taste for anything, which means I should find something at the house, because whatever it is, I'll probably eat it. All right, attention officially drawn to me because I've started my car and now my lights are on. But when I say my light shines too bright, I'm not saying that I want to be, like, that I stand out. I just would rather be in a place where all the lights are bright and I can kind of blend in, if that makes sense. All right, I just took some reasonably fire pictures. Um, I mean, not all of them are fire, but there are some hits in there. So I don't feel like my costume was a total bust. I mean, it was, the costume itself was never a bust. Just didn't really get to show it off the way I would have preferred. Because, like, it's giving witch. It's giving divinely protected. Oh, I didn't really show off my earrings. Dang. Oh, well. It's fine. Y'all are seeing them now. Like, it's the details for me. Like, come on. Come on. Uh, I put a spell on you. That's crazy. And my mom never answered the phone for me earlier, so she didn't even get to see it in action. But I'm glad I got some pictures. Because this face, I don't know if I could recreate it. I mean, I did film it, so I guess I could, potentially. Did I record all of it? I think, yeah, I was done with my makeup before the camera died. So, y'all saw how this happened. But, uh, yeah, I'm kind of in love. But I need to go wipe it off. I don't know who's gonna eat tonight. It is currently 1.45 on the nose. <laughs> Can you see that? 1.45 a.m. I definitely have to go, like, grocery shopping and stuff tomorrow. Or at least, like, necessity shopping and grocery shopping because there's some things that I'm running low on. Don't exactly remember what all those things are because I did not write them down. But definitely low on something. Several somethings. I literally just took my entire costume off, like everything except for my jewelry. And forgot to tell you that I lost my freaking nose ring. And I don't even think y'all... Did y'all see the nose ring? Did I, I might have had it on when I was recording with my phone earlier, but like, I lost it in the bathroom because I was dancing in the bathroom and then it fell off and I couldn't find it. Thankfully, I have quite a few of them, but that was an, an integral part of my costume and it didn't even get in the pictures, but I did get a couple of pictures before with the nose ring in. R.I.P. my green nose cuff. We're finally getting... Well, I guess I was going to say finally getting a start to the day, but it's currently 2.53 p.m. I have done basically nothing all day. I actually did do one thing that I'm kind of like, I guess, happy or, you know, happy about or whatever, but I, because I took pictures last night, y'all know that, y'all were there in some ways, um, <laughs> and I made like a YouTube short slash reel or whatever. That's like a slideshow of almost all, well, most of the pictures. Even the ones I don't like because they're kind of just flashing by so quickly that it doesn't even matter. That's basically all I've done today. Other than that, I've napped. I did eat. I made that chicken, I mean, not chicken, that uh, gnocchi pasta or whatever. It was pretty good. There's, I still have some left. That was my, my breakfast. I had gnocchi at like 10.30 in the morning. I didn't end up falling asleep until probably like almost three and I fell asleep on the couch and then around like 6 30 I got up and got in my bed and then I woke up for real around 9 30 ish no was it I might have been nine o'clock on the dot actually and then what did I do from there that's when I made my gnocchi took my vitamins 
thought I was gonna try to like be productive or whatever and like do laundry, but really I've just been very like, when I'm not sleeping, because <laughs> I did end up taking a nap. I nap I fell asleep watching YouTube as usual and I napped for about maybe three hours to be honest. Would it be three? Yeah, because I fell asleep at like 11. Well, one, two. Yeah, I got because I got up like right before two o'clock because ooh, I just passed up where I wanted to go. Dang it. Whatever. Um, because I'm going somewhere I don't usually go. I want to go to Menards because I need a freaking little shovel because I want to repot my plant. Um, and I've been trying to do that for like a month and I think it's actually getting to a point where if I don't, I might have, you know, she's not going to make it much longer because <laughs> her leaves are getting very soft and I don't, I don't like that. She has firm, supple leaves. But yeah, when I'm not sleeping, I've just been very like reflective of my evening because I felt a lot of emotions last night that I don't typically feel. Like I, when I told, when I was sitting in the dark and told y'all I wanted to cry, like no joke, it had, it had if I didn't have makeup on, I probably would have like sat here and bawled in my car. <laughs> And that kind of was just like confirmation for me that like, I don't know if it's confirm because I don't know if I want to feel stronger emotions or if it's, it brings me peace to be able to have such control over my emotions. But I was going to say it feels like that's confirmation that I shouldn't have like, because the reason I never feel the emotions I felt last night is because I never really have expectations um, for my experiences, especially when they're not experiences that are within my control. Um, but I did kind of have, I guess, expectations, but more so just expectations of who was going to be there. Not like expectations of what was going to happen. But kind of in some ways that too though, because like the way people were talking, like, cause I told y'all, they were talking about twerking and stuff in the group chat and I, you know, I got excited. I wanted to dance. <laughs> but, and I'm certain I will be, you know, lit, turned up, having a ball tomorrow. But when I tell you there was zero dancing, practically like i did a little like maybe two seconds but i'm not like i because my personality my energy i don't just you know like get up and perform for people like that's not that's not, unless that's what i've intentionally decided to do when i'm in a performative space like <laughs> then yes i will get up and perform but i don't perform in a place where everyone should be you know exhibiting similar energy you know so like that i basically sat there <laughs> the entire time um at one point i mean i stood i was standing and i did you know i bounced around and i enjoyed the music and i do have and that's another thing because i took i was like literally writing notes to myself <laughs> while i was there because nobody was talking so like i instead of talking to myself out loud i was like typing in my notes like i typed like things were coming to my mind that felt in some ways profound or like you know, I thought about things in ways that I had never really thought about them before. So I put them in my notes and one of them was like, um, cause I told y'all that me and Grant have a lot of conversations about like depth and how it's hard for, really hard for him to experience surface level interactions. It's not hard for me to experience them as long as I don't have the ex expectation that that's not going to be the case. If that's, if the expectation is that we're going to have some level of depth, then I might be a little disappointed, but I'm, you know, without expectation i can dwell on the surface at least externally because i'm going to be deep within myself which is why i started writing notes to myself because that's what was happening like i was having deep thoughts i just wasn't having deep conversations um but yet like the 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 thing i put in my notes and maybe i'll actually read you the note when i get to where i'm going which i think is meyer yeah i'm pretty sure i'm going to meyer right now i don't think i'm going to target today there's not really anything on my list that I have to get from Target. But it was basically saying like, it's hard to dwell on the surface when you're internal. It's hard, it's something like, yeah, something to the effect of it's hard to stay on the surface when your internal, your internal world dwells in the depths. I think that was almost verbatim what I wrote, but like, it, it was kind of like a double entendre situation. Cause like, Really, it's very simple for me to stay on the surface externally, but it's difficult for me. But like, I can't, it's, I'm not going to stay there on the inside. Like you're going to, it's going to seem like I'm dwelling on the surface with you, but really I'm somewhere 10 planets away in my own thoughts. Um, also, I have a scab right here. I don't know if I'm just very jumping all over the place. Cause there's so many things I want to talk about. 
Um, but yes, I have a scab from waxing my lip. I think I double waxed just in this sink. There's, it's like literally a line of a scab right here. And I think that was just where the, the wax over like overlapped. I should have just done my whole lip in one go, but I, the thing wasn't long enough, whatever. Okay. <clears throat> but yeah, like I, I may be on the surface, on the surface, but on the inside, like I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> But the, the double entendre there was like, cause I also kind of was applying it to Grant cause I could tell that he, you know, he wasn't necessarily having the best time either. And I, not to say his internal world isn't deep. Cause like, it pro I'm sure it is. I know he thinks at least a relative amount similar to me. And I think a whole lot. <laughs> so, but he needs the depth on the surface. I don't need the depth on the surface. I just need to make sure that the depth is internal because that's the only part I have control over. So like, it's hard to dwell, it's hard for him to stay on the surface because his internal world is deep, but his internal world is more intertwined with his external world than mine is, it's, at least from my perspective and from what I'm seeing. Like, I'm none of this is fact. I'm not talking to him and maybe one day he'll come on camera and we can talk about it together. Cause like, I'm pretty, he already said he's open to being on my channel. So hopefully, maybe that'll be the type of situation that it is we'll like converse on topics of that magnitude um, <laughs> but yeah that was oh <laughs> i'm gonna cry i just parked in front of my angel number i just parked in front of 333 and it's on a buick enclave which is a car my mom used to drive that's crazy um oh that's really beautiful to me uh um 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 that kind of caught me off guard and it's brown like it's a unique color too like it's not even just a plain colored car um yeah hold on do i want to read you that actual note I'm, I'm probably just gonna read you all the things i wrote while i was sitting there i don't know if i'm gonna be able to and it's three o'clock on the dot oh i don't know if y'all can see that can y'all see that three o'clock on the dot um so many, three is th three is my number that's all i got to say um notes <clears throat> i'm seeing my list from okay the first thing i wrote was intermittent fasting like i wrote this standing in the bar like we were standing bouncing around dancing and i'm like typing intermittent fasting in my notes because i told y'all i want to fast grant is going to fast with me um but we, he said something oh because i guess he got invited to dinner like at his sister's house or something she told him to come hungry and she's like he was like yeah i think we're gonna have to fast tomorrow and i'm like dang i forget that fasting is something that you can do as something smaller than just like a than a month-long commitment like you can fast daily so like i put intermittent fasting in my notes because i would like to do more research on that and figure out like the optimal way for me to intermittent fast at all times basically um because my issue is like I don't like I, I told you I don't eat full meals I snack I think I said that in last week's vlog and now it's kind of biting me in the ass because like now all I have in my house is like snacky less healthy foods but like everything's fine in moderation and I do have some like you know some things to balance the scale and I'm probably gonna get some things to balance the scale in here as well um but yeah I want to get into intermittent fasting so that is a note that I wrote in here in the bar last night and then after that I, because it was it's Halloween, people are in costumes. So I, I started thinking about the movie Halloween Town, where like everybody is always themselves, because it's not a costume, but it's what we would consider a costume. Um, so I wrote Halloween Town, be who you are every day, unapologetically. Because like my costume, like I know, and I, I mean, I'm hoping he doesn't mind, because he, he tells me to share what I want to share. <laughs> and, I, you know, I, I'm going to talk about the things that are going on in my life, but like he, Grant did tell me he didn't feel necessarily all that, you know, confident in his costume or whatever. And it was primarily just because like everybody wasn't dressed up. Like it's easier to feel like you fit in when everybody is, you know, has similar energy. I personally had no issue being in costume because I felt like myself in my costume. The div the divinity of the witch, the, the divine connectedness of the witch, the all like... I felt like me like I felt like I was presenting myself in my most authentic fashion like <laughs> I can't even like I felt fine as fudge okay like I felt like I looked the f good and I did 
not even gonna cap to you. Now, I will say my pictures may not have been, well, there are a couple of them that are like bangers, but you know, when you take a hundred and something pictures, not all of them are gonna hit. And also, I was taking them myself with a, like a clicker. So, <laughs> not, not the ideal setting to get a really good pick, but I got some good ones. But yeah, that's the thing. Like, I felt really com confident and comfortable and like, if I could dress like that every day and it'd be acceptable and nobody would like, it wouldn't hinder me in my everyday life, like people wouldn't treat me differently, I would dress like that every day to some respect. I would wear a cloak <laughs> on a daily basis, specifically that one. And that, it came in handy, it kept me warm. But yeah, Halloween Town, be who you are every day, unapologetically. I'm just gonna screenshot this. Well, ooh, maybe. I don't know if I'm gonna put the whole thing on the screen. Cause, okay, so the next thing um, I put was, the thing that I was talking about you can't stay on the surface long when your internal world dwells in the depths so like like I was saying for me that just means that I, I can't stay on the surface like the external world surface for long because I dwell within myself primarily and then I also but when I was writing it I was also applying it to Grant um, <laughs> and because he couldn't dwell on the surface in the external world like he wanted the external world to also be deep, you know, like to get, or at least get deeper than it was, which anything would have been deeper than what it was. Cause no, like when I tell you nobody was taught, like this is an experience I don't think I've ever had to be honest. And like, maybe I could have spoken, but like, that's not a setting to like start conversation, but like nobody's making jokes. Nobody's pointing out anything. Nobody's like, I don't know. There was no, we were missing we were missing some key players in the group is the issue that's what the main issue was but like it still should not have been as silent as it was <laughs> um i can't even say that though because it was what it was supposed to be it, and i think it was supposed to make me be reflective in this way because i was seeing i was getting confirmation left and right from external signs that were you know confirming my internal experience and this next one this is getting kind of exceptionally vulnerable i'm not going to define what this is if you if you choose to you know look into it or whatever this uh, here uh, once again this is me prefacing that i do not make videos for children so like this part is kind of adult borderline i mean no because it's not even like i well it is kind of x-rated quote unquote or whatever like it can be applied that way but that's not and this is another double entendre i don't entirely mean it that way um, but it's kind of similar to the Halloween town, be who you are every day unapologetically. The next thing I wrote, and I can't even, I want to share with you the, the thought that prompted this, but that is going to give you I, probably too deep of a look into my mind. Um, but I wrote exhibitionism, bearing it all for all to see. Um, which basically is what exhibitionism, exhibitionism is, like an exhibitionist um what and i guess my cloak is what prompted that because like my cloak made me feel invisible which made me feel like i could do whatever i wanted within the confines of my cloak and nobody would know and i'm gonna let you you know ruminate on that mind you i didn't do anything under my cloak i was just there <laughs> and felt invisible and had the thought but like that's not you know but that like that's what sparked this and like exhibitionism exhibitionist is something not that I necessarily execute or present or, you know, do anything that really aligns with this in my real life, but like in my internal world, it, like I, I kind of feel that way. And even you could even say that being a like a daily vlogger or a weekly vlogger, whatever you want to call me and like sharing the depths of my actual life is a form of exhibitionism. Like I'm showing you all the intimate details of I'm showing the public intimate details of my life so like bearing it all for all to see there are no barriers to who can access what i'm sharing you know and then the last thing i wrote was oh and i wish i see and that was last i was gonna put another line with this and i didn't but i put i ain't saying she a gold digger but she ain't messing with no because that's the song was playing like the kanye song i ain't saying she a gold digger, but she ain't messing with no broke dude broke oh because uh you know people there's people that you know like weren't really exposed to rap and things of that nature but like and like if you weren't and you had the negative connotation of what rap is and you've never really heard like 
rap that has meaning. I mean, and there's a lot of rap, like, there's a lot of rap, and I would say most rap, really, at least prior to maybe the last two or three years. But even then, there's still some, like, storytelling hit makers that have been sprinkled in there. And there's, there's obviously gems in a lot of the, like, surface level rap, too. Mm, kind of disorder. But, like, the line where he's, she, he's just like, and I realized how much it resonated with me, but, like, one of your kids, she got you for 18 years. Like, that's why I don't have no kids. <laughs> that line right there, I'm not going to say that's the whole reason I ain't got no kids, but, like, the thought of accidentally having a child with somebody that I don't want in my life for the foreseeable future is miserable to me. Like, I would, like, and knock on wood, because, like, I'm not, I'm not exempt, but I do take precaution to make sure that that's not the case. <laughs> I, it, but like, there are things like that, like, those things are not, aren't going to get ingrained in your head in that way if you've never been, you know, if you weren't exposed to that particular song. But like, I was thinking about it more broadly applied, but like, there are so many gems and lyrics that became like mantras for the way I live. And I can't, I, I can't really name any off the dome right now, but like, well, I guess I can. Hebrews 11 and one that I literally have tattooed on my arm is from a song. Like, I, that scripture was introduced to me through a song called Harvest by John P. Key, I believe. But, uh, I went to Hebrews 11 and one. The faith to know my blessing shall come and it's mine, all mine. It's harvest time. Okay. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. Hebrews 11 and one. Um, but like stuff like that, like when you're in, when you have such a wide array of music that you're exposed to, you never know like what's really impacting your psyche and your subconscious and the way you view the world. But like 18 years, she got one of your kids got you for 18 years. And once again, I was kind of applying that to, you know, the people around, like people around me or like people that I feel like could potentially end up in a situation like that and not even realize it like and, and no the lyric that really got me was like on the eight on their 18th birthday found out it wasn't his if you're inexperienced and you don't really know that you should probably be you know you know hedge your bets i'm not saying like like don't trust your partner because if you have if you're in a trusting relationship trust your partner but like if you're not and it's like a one-off situation and she come back telling you she got she having a baby make sure the baby yours you know early on <laughs> it's it's the little things um yeah those those are the notes that i wrote in my phone um i think maybe i thought that these might be like more longer form video ideas or maybe i just need to and that's another thing that's kind of been on my mind like do i do a podcast because really my brand she talks a lot is far more aligned with podcasting than vlogging i think but i think it's kind of aligned with both but uh, I think it'd be a very easy transition from video format to audio format. Because I could even start posting my vlogs as podcasts, but I'm not talking the whole time. I would probably have to talk more. Uh, <laughs> um, yeah, okay, but I am here at Meyer, sitting in the parking lot. Thankfully, there has been nobody around me this entire time. Very private, parked right in front of 333 on a beige tan brown Buick Enclave. Uh, okay. Let me go do my shopping. I'm kind of hungry too. I should have ate some more before I left. It's okay though. Today is literally October 29th. What is happening? Am I unaware of what sell by means? What? All of them say October 14. Not to mention they're a dollar 35. Like, what is happening? Inflation is literally happening for my eyes, and you're trying to upcharge me on expired water. Hmm. I might have to go to Target just to get water. And I really hope they have it because the last two times I went, they did not. I'm home. Sorry, the closet being open back there is distracting. I am home. It's currently, hold on, 
too noisy over here. As I was saying, it is currently 8.17 p.m., much later than I anticipated getting home, but like, it's fine, because the reason I'm getting home so late is because I just spent, what, three hours in the car, like sitting in the car in the Target parking lot on the phone with my niece, and we don't talk very often, and we were talking about some pretty serious things, um, some deep life stuff, and it's like really crazy to me getting to see the effects of like familial trauma, I guess. Like how childhood trauma, if not dealt with, you know, on your own is then inadvertently, in most cases, uh, passed down to your kid. And it's like, it's crazy for me to get to see that on a way that I identify to the point where it feels like it's my child, but it not being my child, you know? Like I get to see what would or could happen if I had chosen or if I did choose to like have a kid and not deal with my like do do the shadow work beforehand to work on the things that I know need to be worked on that I don't want to pass on but like I don't even <laughs> we talked about so much stuff and I'm not obviously going to share all of that with you all because that's a lot of it's not even my business but it was just a very long and much needed conversation but now it is 8 19 and i still have to get my life together i did you know do some grocery shopping i did end up running to target but i actually didn't i think i only bought well i guess daily about three things from target that weren't on the list but like two of them are a food thing and one of them you'll yeah you'll just see i got three gallon waters from target we're just i think we're just gonna jump around that's how I'm feeling. One gallon of water from Meyer. I did get one of the expired October 14th gallons just in case I went to Target and they didn't have any water because I needed water in the house. Um, Target was quite light on purified water, but they had enough for me to get three of them. Also from Target, I got some pretzel crisps. These are for my lunch for work. And then I had never, never in my life witnessed these before and I know I said that I'm not gonna like do the whole snacky snacky thing anymore but I had to try these um so it's a wrap snack um variety pack I don't know if these will go in my lunch I guess it depends on how they affect my breath to be honest because a OG barbecue cheddar a barbecue cheddar chip I've never conceptualized what that would be like then and that's because that's Snoop Dogg's chip. Little Babies is salt and vinegar, barbecue, onion, garlic, and more. Nicki Minaj got a sour cream ranch truffle, and then Rick Ross got sweet chili lemon pepper. These are all very unique chip flavors, so we're gonna see what they're hitting for. They might go much. Who knows? And lastly, from Target, and actually, when I was getting dressed today, I realized I don't own any of these but specifically green fluffy socks because I'm wearing like, I wore my bear paws today for the first time in the season and I'm wearing big, I wear big fluffy socks when I wear boots like that. And I wanted a pair of green socks and I'm wearing a green hoodie and I didn't have any. So I just happened to see these. They were $8, I guess. Yeah, $8, but they're so soft. They're Chanel. I don't know how to pronounce it. I guess that's how you pronounce it. C-H-E-N-I-L-L-E. Chanel socks, but those will do me well. I haven't really bought many socks recently, except for the socks that I got from Melon and Hair Theater, but I mean, those count too. Then for Meyer, I had some coupons. One of them was for $4 off the giant thing of scent beads. So this is regular, like I think $15, and I got it for 11 with the $4 coupon. And I'd say that's a pretty reasonable deal because I've never even bought one this big because I don't want to spend fifteen dollars. Also, I had a coupon for I think it was like a dollar or fifty cents off of the Pepperidge Farm farmhouse bread. I usually get sourdough, and I have gotten brioche in the past, but I, like I really was trying to stick with sourdough. But they didn't have it. They had brioche, but it like expired by the end of next week. So I got this hearty white. I've never tried the hearty white bread from this brand, so we'll see how that goes. I don't see how it could be bad. And then there's two items in here that I think I'm going to classify as Christmas gifts potentially, so I'm not going to show them, but they are 
they were clearance items in the toy section. Then here is the stuff that actually was on my list. I got a pill cutter because I have some vitamins that I'd like to cut in half. I have an AM PM pill organizer because I have a regular day of the week one, but I have I've started taking a vitamin specifically at night and I might even end up switching to most of my vitamins being at night. Like any of the ones that I feel like I need food for, if I'm going to intermittent fast, I might like make those PM vitamins. But like the the B, like the vitamin B vitamins that are like for energy and stuff, I probably would continue to take those during the day. Replacement heads for my toothbrush. This is, I'm hoping this is the right size battery. I actually don't know for sure, but I got a little like vanity like compact mirror with vanity lights in it from Timu but I never got a battery for it so I'm hoping this is the right size battery fingers crossed and then oh I forgot I got this beauty box from Meyer. I've gotten a couple of these I've gotten a wellness one and I think another beauty one previously but they're $4.99 and you usually get like a reasonable, a reasonable amount of stuff and some of it is typically full size so I picked the new season of this one up because this is beauty for all. I think this is, the, I mean, based on the packaging, I'd say this is the fall box. And then everything else I got is actually in my cooler, which I'm glad I had since I was sitting in my car for so long. <laughs> Otherwise that would not have worked out very well. So I got some, I had a coupon for this as well for the Yogi Tea. This is the Elderberry Lemon Balm Immune and Stress. I actually didn't realize it said stress because I got it because of the elderberry for the immune system. Oh, but it says it has ashwagandha for adaptogenic support. Interesting. I didn't even read it all the way through, but I knew I wanted like something for immunity since we're getting into cold and flu season. The lid of this just kind of gave me the heebie-jeebies. I don't like porous stuff and that's kind of gross looking. I know it's a flower, but like, that just didn't do much didn't do well for me but then i also got these lion's mane mushroom burger patties so there's two patties in here and it's umami rich infused with truffle flavor and a blend of mushrooms free from common allergens two mushroom patties 26 grams of protein per pack um let's see what are the ingredients water soy free tofu pea protein tomatoes Mushrooms, which is lion's mane, shiitake, and porcini. Sunflower oil, so an alginate seasoning, which is dried onion, salt, sea salt, dried tomato, dried garlic, spice, onion. What is spice? Onion powder and spice extracts. Coconut oil, mushroom extract, grape puree, rice flour, pea fiber, no soy, gluten-free. No soy, gluten-free tamari i don't know what that is and natural truffle oil i like that every ingredient on here i can pronounce so we'll see how that goes and then with me trying to be you know make healthier decisions and stuff a lot of healthy eating requires you kind of putting stuff on stuff to make it taste good so i got some dressings this is just this is oil and vinegar and then this is balsamic i don't know i feel like i'm gonna be putting this on a lot of things to make them taste good and then I also found another Vietnamese coffee, but this isn't, this one is a flavor. This is Saigon Cinnamon Oat Milk Latte. So this one has oat milk in it. I'm guessing it's going to, you know, be a little different than the experience I had with the last one. But the 180 milligrams of caffeine with the subtle kick of Saigon Cinnamon and our oat milk latte is indulgent and refreshing. No dairy needed. Sang is the creation of a first generation Vietnamese American whose mission is to share the flavors and traditions of her native country through delicious Vietnamese art. Nope, treats. Why can't I read? Vietnamese treats, not art. I don't know. I feel like my energy is also kind of off. And when I was in Target, people kept looking in my face and it felt like they were reading my energy. And I know that's like probably a long ways off from what was actually happening, but I'm not used to people looking me in my face all that often. Like I know people do, but I don't usually catch it, I guess. But like I was catching it and I didn't I didn't know how to feel about it. Because I felt like I was being read from the surface. Um so 
cheese sticks were two for six dollars i think at meyer so i got gouda and then i got colby jack so i'm used to having colby jack and i know i like gouda cheese but i never had it as a cheese stick and then some more caramel apples but these are just the affy tapple brand this is the brand i'm most familiar with when it comes to a caramel apple and then in here we have two bags of caesar chopped salad the caesar chopped salad kit the dole brand and then we have i don't know if i like radish i think i do but i think i've only had it on the side of like sushi but these are radish chips hoping like i'll enjoy snacking on these maybe dipping them in a little vinaigrette or something and then i got pickled onions so in the vein of like throwing a bunch of chopped fresh things in a bowl um I know I like pickled onions and it says that this is good topping for salad, toast, tacos, and everything in between. It's got mustard seed, peppercorns, and cumin, I guess are the pickling agents. Uh, let's just put it on a sandwich. I might. I low-key might put these on my sandwich for lunch in the morning. Unless I take a salad, because I did get the salad for my lunch. And then more baby cucumbers. So I probably would also put the pickled onions in here like with the cucumbers as well okay this is our last bag <laughs> and uh probably our most unique i got some turkey necks and two packs of chicken gizzards i don't eat red meat but i'm still country i like country cooking so in, in, in the country you eat all the parts of the animal and a gizzard is fire i actually I need to get some liver in my life. I haven't had liver in a minute. And I know that's my mom's thing. But I like it too. And I just never eat it. But yeah, that is everything I got. I'm about to put all this stuff away. I need to wash dishes. I should have done laundry today. But like, I just wasn't here. And I'm not, you know, I'm not going to hold that against myself. <sighs> yeah, I need to regroup and get my energy together. I'm probably going to call my mom because we haven't talked since... Sometime yesterday, early yesterday, and that wasn't a very long conversation, so. I don't know, like, I just feel very weird right now. Like, not bad, not good, just kind of indifferent and weird. I think I'm feeling other people's energy right now, actually. Which is, I'm not mad about it, because the people's energy I'm feeling, I care about. I just haven't really opened myself up to feel other people's energy in this way in a while. And I think it's really doing something with my my feels. Yeah, but I'm, I think I'm going to close the vlog out right here since it is Sunday night. I hope you enjoyed spending the week with me. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and turn on that post notification bell so you never miss another video from me. But until next time, love y'all. Peace.